and so much hate for Jiglis, mm-hmm. and then for Throm One Wire against him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and now Throm's dead. Well, you guys talked to Dur, the golem. God, was that all last session? That was all last session. Um, he told you that to for him to allow you entry into the secret entrance to Dammer Hall, you need to go to the lair <laughs> of the great red worm, Maladraxus the Monument Thief, and steal one of the many dwarven artifacts he has scrawled away in his hoard. No one in particular, just grab one and run. Uh, Maldrax's lair is loyal, located in the Boiling Sea, which Jiglis informs you that he had a secret route to. He led you to the Sea of the Blind, where magic didn't work, where a abolith ambush was waiting for you, and you were all taken to the bottom of the ocean. Uh, since that point, three months has passed, as Freya was knocked out of her stupor by Ivy and swiftly led her to a secret cave where Iago and her mech suit was waiting before promptly getting ambushed by Taskel, who they managed to uh, remove his mind control as well, and then getting jumped by who you now discover is Thrum. <laughs> It was a busy session that also at the same time, when you look back on it, like four things actually happened. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Very big things, though. Oh, yeah. So due to the fact that the party is kind of scattered at this point, I am going to forgo a question this week. All good. Because it's I can't exactly ask you, like, what are your feelings now? Because two of you are still missing and one of you is unconscious and haven't had a chance the, to roll. The water's great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can finally pee wherever I want. <laughs> I love the water. I lo- 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 love the water. <laughs> All right. So let me put on some underwater ambience here. I was really hoping to hear just some fish blubs. Blub, blub, blub. <laughs> I was thinking under the sea. Jamaican shrimp. Yeah, but things down here are not better when they are wetter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Take it from me. So, Haskell, Freya, Ivy and Iago, so you should all have a playable character, uh, are currently standing around a unconscious Thrum who you just managed to knock out after a rather lengthy battle. Who, I mean, out of character thoughts aside, you did believe that Thrum was dead up until this point, I'm fairly certain. Mm-hmm. What do you guys want to do? Uh, which one am I playing? Any preferences? Uh, it depends. Do you? If, if it's easier for you, Iago is just basically a fighter with a gun that you can't use right now. So playing him will be super easy. And then Ivy is just basically a rogue with some psychic knives. So it's up to you. I'll, I'll go Iago. So are we just going to overlook the fact that he was dead? <laughs> Looking down at a uh, throne. Mm-hmm. And he drowned, right? That was I certainly thought so. Was that months ago at the well, obviously it was months ago at this point, but even before this whole mess with the mind stuff. Mm-hmm. At least half a month. I'm trying to think, we sailed around after that. Immediately got hit by the pirates. Took like what three days for the pirates to take us back to port, and then 
Uh, and there's been a three month time skip of us not knowing where we were. Yeah, it has been about four months since you entered this. Oh, actually, hold on. What am I saying? I actually keep a tally right here. Um, <laughs> yeah, it has been 4.1 months since you entered the double C. Hmm. That's including the three month time skip. I suspect if that mind wipey thing worked on us after three months, it'll work on him after four, right? I don't imagine there's a hard cutoff timeline there, right? I hope. Should we tie him up just to be safe? I would say, wouldn't Ivy at this point just already be shoving the thing into his mouth? Yeah, I was going to see if you guys remember that first. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, you guys are, like, talking about this, and she's just over there. With the we forget. Mouth. He gets like, long rest. And you see her, like, the... almost elbow deep into shoving the thing down his throat. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And as a brief uh, reminder, everyone except for Thrum and Ivy, your uh, skin is transparent right now. So you can, like, see your bones, organs, and muscles. Uh, if you ever seen a picture of, like, a glass frog a lot like that i'm just gonna say i don't like this this is not a side of myself i had ever wanted to see ever (laughs) hey since we're all clear medicine check to see if any of us have cancer (laughs) (laughs) i guess if there's any time to do surgery now's the time just throw them in the sleep it's not a tumor (laughs) (laughs) it's a baby he just starts shitting rocks (laughs) So you guys tie uh, Thrum up because Ivy, yeah. Iago, and Task will have all their equipment. Freya just has her suit. Iago would probably start doing this if somebody told him otherwise and just be like, just just playing it safe. Make sure he is himself when he wakes up because that, mm-hmm. that was a rough fight and I'd rather not go through that again. I almost feel bad for the, all the enemies we've come across. <laughs> yeah. Imagine how the god that controls the world feels. <laughs> I'm just going to grapple and knock him from. Okay, everyone atomize it now. <laughs> uh, are you guys going to try to short rest wait, or are you guys going to uh, heal Thrum at all to try to get him back up to conscious? Because he's stable, but he's at zero. I think we could probably all use the short rest. That was a pre- well. I don't know how's everybody's health doing, but I feel like that was a pretty long um, drag out fight. Yeah, I thought Ivy was pretty wrecked. Iago, I think, is pretty hurt too. Uh, no, he's actually not hurt at all. Never mind. Yeah, Cope never targeted Iago the entire time. Uh, I did not control. Who he wasn't. Cope- he wasn't a threat. So I did not c- control who Cope tried to hit. So <laughs> that's on him. And Ivy ran up and started pummeling. So, and missing quite a few times. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Though I did forget that technically it was in dim light, so all those attacks with the dark saber should have been an advantage. I completely forgot about that. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you might not want to linger in this cave too long, but you probably have time for a short rest if that's what you would like to do. Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah, take a short uh, rest. If we're going to do it, I'll heal up. Ivy with her hit die. Mm-hmm. And uh, Freya can repair her suit since she didn't actually take any hit point damage. Is uh, Thrum going to spend hit dice to wake his ass up? Yeah, sorry. I was trying to get my sheet for it to work. Oh god, Jiggles is back. <laughs> oh no. Get him! Also, I will say out of character, because I know when Cope said his character's name was Jiglis and there were some laughs about that, I will say in Cope's defense, I did name the character because he was going to be an NPC before I handed the reins over to Cope. So that well, that one's on me. <laughs> I intentionally... How many, can you, how many kills can you do in a short rest? Um, up to the amount of hit die you have. Yep, okay. and you just don't have any more. So you're a little 10, and then you get, after you take a long rest, you get half of that back, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Ivy has one left because she was very hurt. And Cope seems to have used them all. And I got one more. Also, is Michael here? Because he's muted and he hasn't said anything this entire time. Guess not. Yes, not. He was talking earlier. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Oh, he's up getting a drink. Uh, how dare. All right, just throw him awake. I would say at the end of the short rest, you would be, yes. You uh, did they give him the... Yes, Ivy did. You regain consciousness. Um, you have no memory of the past four months, uh, just like we discussed in the side chat, and you're tied up. You do see some of your friends and companions. However, everyone except for Ivy, uh, you can see through their skin and see their bones and internal organs. Also, you're underwater? <laughs> That's a good question. How are they breathing? I don't know. They just seem to be. Why, uh, why is everybody staring at me? What happened? Why are you all underwater? Why don't we go back up to the boat? This is stupid. This had to have been your idea. Why am I tied up? What was the last thing you remember? Uh, sitting in the dark, sinking and sinking. That was about it. I guess I passed out eventually. Hmm. Well, something found you. We've, uh, a lot of us were betrayed and, uh, led right into a trap where a bunch of creatures control of our minds. Well, how did you find me? You found us. And fought us very hard. Hmm. This is making very little sense. Yeah, imagine I mean, us. Why can, you've, I, you've why been, can I see through your skin? That I do not know. And I do hope it's not permanent. It will be extremely hard to attract a, a <clears throat> company. Unless you know they're into that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> where's, Turns out his uh, future wife is a doctor. Wait a minute, where's Fergus? And Milgram. They're still captive. All right, let's back up and start from the beginning. And I imagine we can just sidebar that they explain everything that yeah. happened. Ivy re-explains it. Apparently, uh, there is a enclave of creatures down here called the Aboliths. Uh, spooky old aberration fish things with mind powers and they uh often like to steal people from the surface and bring them down to the bottom of the ocean where they kind of enslave them but psychically um using modified memory and such so that we even when they're not being actively dominated the people don't know that that's why the brain coral that ivy has uh, erases the past couple months of your memory. It doesn't remove the control. It literally just edits your brain so that you don't remember being in control, being controlled by them. Uh, and she was given to that by a group of monks that she met after the rest of you were taken. Uh, who they are apparently have agreed to help but she has to get you guys out of here first. That is the story. Uh, do y'all have my stuff? You actually still have your equipment, Thrum. 
Especially since you were attacking people with that axe last time. So I just assumed you were. (laughs) Okay. Same with Taskal. Freya is Sans her stuff, but Iago and Ivy have all their stuff. So Freya does have her suit, so at least there's all of that. So, how do we get the other two free? Mm. Gotta get to them first. Yeah, I think we gotta make them eat soap or something. (laughs) (laughs) Ivy, uh, pulls out a knife and bends down to the, um, the ocean sand and starts drawing shapes. Says, uh, before I got Iago and Freya out, I managed to do a little bit of scouting of the area. Um, she makes a little X. Okay, so we're over here on the edge of this, the bottom of this oceanic cliff. This here, and she makes a square, is the main ziggurat that this entire area is built around. Uh, let's not go there. That's where all the aboliths are. Uh, now, down here to the south is the strip mines. This is where I saw Fergus last. So if we want to get him out, that's where he's going to be. Over here in this... Um, still on the front page. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not actually drawing anything. Okay. She's just describing it. Full on, I didn't actually make a map for the this area, just theater of the mind it for right now. Because mm-hmm. we're not going to use like actual grid movement between these locations. It's going to be a uh, I imagine she's probably just drawing into the sand. Yeah, I can't it, imagine paper, paper or parchment will be doing too well down here. Yeah, she's just drawing. <laughs> she's just literally using her knife and just scraping into the dirt sand <laughs> of the ocean bottom. Mostly, this is just illustrating that what you're after down here are in different locations. Mm -hmm. So, Nulgrim, she believes, is in a some sort of um, facility of a kind uh, buried into the rock wall along the along the uh, sea cliff, and she did notice a marble structure on the other side of the ziggurat. that is Jiggles' personal pavilion where all your equipment is being held, along with uh, the ship that you guys were on is uh, chained down to the ocean floor over by where he is as well. So it's a, uh, a decision on where you guys want to go first. You can try to reg- rescue Fergus, rescue Nolgrim, go after your equipment. That, that's get, why. Sounds like Fergus what, what sort, the easiest. What sort of structure was the equipment in again? It was in a marble building that serves as Jiggles' private residence. Uh, Ivy did manage to briefly slip in there when she got some of the Yago stuff, but she had to sneak out. It is guarded. There's like a coral garden around it, she describes. Mm. And she does believe Jiggles is there currently. I think we're all going to want to be present when we kick his ass. <laughs> um, I, I think Fergus. I think I mean, it sounds like among your group, he is perhaps the most important. Like from our sand of what we're doing down here in the first place, not underwater, but okay. yeah, I'd agree to that. Uh, Ivy says, if we go to the strip mine, the thing that we need to take keep in mind. That's teeming with a few hundred of the Aboleth's thralls who are all doing the mining. Fergus amongst them. Uh, We're going to have to be really subtle because any sort of open violence and they'll all come down on us at once. Hmm. Now... Nolgrim might also know more about the Aboleth's, though. Has he studied them or anything? No, but he's an expert in the old and ancient 
things. It is possible. <laughs> he reads books. <laughs> all, that, all that old shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Excuse me for thinking that the witch might know a little bit about fucking, you know, creepy weird things. <laughs> yeah. I saw him lick a dinosaur bone once. I think he's into it. <laughs> yeah so mechanically so you guys know um it'll be a group stealth check to go to each of these locations we'll get to that in a minute but uh depending on how you handle each one it'll slowly raise the alert level making the subsequent ones a little bit more challenging so it's up to your choice on how you want to handle it. I say we go after Fergus. I, I mean, it, oh, sorry, wrong exit. <clears throat> um, yeah, especially since if we're going in there, it sounds like we need to be stealthy anyways. So having all the weapons, be all of our equipment is kind of moot. I think he is the highest value person is Freya with us yes uh, she's he got definitely her can't he probably can't go in your suit then I don't know how well you'd fit in I just moved the two missing people up Uh, Tasco, you have any thought on it? Hell, if we save Nogram first, that'll have all of us available to save Fergus, and then we could just grab him and flee if stuff goes south. At the end of it, all the stuff that Jigmas took is just stuff. Mm. Although, a th- second after that, he thanks and checks around his belongings to see if he still has the bird. Nope, the clockwork thrush is missing. <sighs> uh, by that by that line of thought, if we only had the capacity to rescue one person, I thought it was supposed to be Fergus who was sitting upon your throne. Listen, I'm not sure we should exactly be compartmentalizing like this. I think we can save everybody. Okay, and Nolgrim, I think, is going to be the more resourceful and intelligent person to help us get everybody back on board. <laughs> oh, hard burn. <laughs> I, I, I was going to say, Fergus just kind of, where, from wherever he's pickaxe mining or whatever the fuck he's doing, he just kind of turks tur- his head up like, someone's talking mad shit. <laughs> <laughs> he, he does that course. classic sneeze. Yeah. Also, Fergus is competent <laughs> in the fight. That. He sneezes. He's like, oh, water in my nose. Water in my nose. Sneezing up the water is not good. <laughs> also, well, Fergus is competent in a fight. A lot of that is the gear he had. His bow, his knives. Yeah. Let's go get Nogram then. <laughs> ah, I've convinced everyone. <laughs> Diplomacy 20. Or fuck the fuck ever. <laughs> oh yeah uh since you were uh oh afk at that time everyone short rested michael so you definitely had time to mend your suit i'm pretty sure because it would be six castings of the mending spell and you're at 75 out of 112 so i'm pretty sure that would take you up to full yeah let me fix that i mean what do you know about uh the building where the people know them. Mm, I didn't go inside because it's an interior building, but it's fairly well guarded. It looks like have to put, where they I take all the spellcasters. Except for Tascal. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> I mean, also, to be fair, Tascal's a divine caster, not yeah, an it's, arcane. It's, yeah. There was some thought last session as to if he would even have spells since he's no longer in service of his god. Yep. 
Uh, how are we all breathing? Probably something to do with what this crazy fish did to us, making us transparent. Ivy says, I mean, a merfolk cast a spell on me. I don't know about the rest of you. Because Ivy's the only one without transparent skin. <laughs> don't look a gift horse in the mouth. That's a horse. You know what? Another time. Uh, it's not like Esky, but uh it's like a four legged spider. That sounds awful. <laughs> <laughs> it's less useful. Thrum was on the right track. It was uh, a leaner animal in the style of Eskit. <laughs> All right. Man, those were simpler times. <laughs> Yeah, man. Remember that time that you guys fought a giant scorpion while going down some stairs? Man, that was that was like a lifetime ago at this point. <laughs> All right, so how this is how we're gonna do it? Uh, moving to each part, uh, each of the three parts, we're gonna do a group stealth check. So everyone will be giving a stealth roll. There's gonna be no eight actions because you're all rolling. And where if three of the five of you succeed, then you all succeed. Uh, Taskal, because of his armor, will be doing it at disadvantage, but since this is mostly rocky terrain, Ivy will be taking it at advantage. Also, she gets advantage when it's dim light anyway, I think. Um, 25 or... Uh, that Thrum, you roll a survival. Alright. Does mine count as heavy armor? Uh, no, your uh, your rocky skin does not propose propose a uh, a stealth disadvantage. I, did, I wrote that on the item card. Okay. So yeah, I I even got uh, twenty five because she had yep. an advantage, but twenty five is a better one. So Freya failed, but because the alert level is low, Taskal actually did pass. So that means the majority of you passed because it was currently uh, DC twelve. So. That's good. Uh, failure of the stealth checks would just mean that the guards would either be more alert or there would be more security when you get there. So before I move you over to the rather sizable uh, map, you guys have a moment to scout out the area as this is some sort of dungeon complex built into a large undersea rock. Uh, anyone who wants me to can give a, excuse me, investigation check, looking for entrances. Uh, someone, someone else might want to do that. Um, Ivy has a one. Same with Iago. I believe, I think one of her psychotic abilities, she can add a D8 to skill rolls, if I remember correctly. Or was that saving throws? Um, let me double check. But either way, her investigation is pretty poopy. Yep, but Thrum got a 20. Um, so, um, swimming around the edge of this place, trying to keep to the shadows around the rocks, uh, you notice that there is four entrances, um, each marked by green undersea luminescent lights. There are two to the south and two to the north. Yeah, Freya. Also gets a very good investigation roll. Each one is guarded by two creatures, presumably enthralled by the mind flares. One of the south doors is guarded by a drow and a bugbear. The other one is guarded by a lizard folk and one of those sea spawn. Uh, one of the north ones is guarded by a sea spawn and a zombie with that has like an octopus on its head. And the other Norse one is guarded by a Drow and a Drugar. However, since both Thrum and Freya got 20 or above, you do notice that there is metal pipes on the back that's some sort of drainage system of, like, a slurry of offshoot of uh, biological waste as well as, like, potions from perhaps whatever experimentation just kind of dumping out the back. If you don't mind getting dirty, you might be able to crawl through those pipes to get inside. I mean, oh god, are we going to shawshank this? Worst case scenario, we're already taking a bath. Mm -hmm. 
Now, Lord I'll let you guys Lord. know how this, because this is going to be a Metal Gear Solid style sneaking mission. Uh, if you do manage to get a surprise round on people and kill them before their turns come, then you will not break stealth so long as you don't do something insanely like thunder damage or something explicitly described as being loud. Mm. So if you just all at once surprise jumped the guards and you just damaged them down, then you wouldn't raise the alarm yet. So it's up to you how you want to gain entrance into this place. Seems like infiltration's the best route. I was expecting sewers down here, but they're notoriously good at providing a hidden means of access. Yes, yeah, so three, the, three in the pool water. If Fergus were here, we'd have to go through the whole bit of trying to get him to crawl through the sewer. <laughs> How did they get sewage to flow through water well if it's denser it sinks yeah it makes sense combo can use also it. they uh they must have told me how to swim so at least it wasn't all bad mobs down here <laughs> he says as he just walks along the ground his <laughs> body explicitly <laughs> forbids swimming but he's doing the like doggy pedal with his arms oh, yeah this is swimming right <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of what it looks like when other people swim <laughs> so are you like forever stuck in that rocky body because I imagine it might make a bit of noise scraping through the tunnel there Grant might be muffled by the sewage but yeah this is my body now well, as, as you guys approach um, those pipes it's not sewage. Uh, when I said biological waste, it's mainly discarded blood and body parts. And then uh, excess potions that were dumped off. So it's very lovely toxic. <laughs> and just when we need a lizard folk. <laughs> uh, Where's our goblin when we need him? <laughs> Give me half an hour and a bib. I can handle it. <laughs> the three metal drainage pipes do look big enough for you guys to fit, though Freya's large suit is going to be squeezing. So she um, take the back. Well, she can she can go in in the suit. I'll just uh, be addressing well, how that. She probably happens. doesn't want to be in the front blocking our path yes. to see if yes. something ahead of us. I think Ivy might be best to go up front, especially if we're trying to be quiet. If there's a single guard, I think she might be most likely to take him out quietly. And she'll go in the front. I mean, uh -huh. part of being a stealthy bitch. So complimentary. <laughs> I mean, I would call Fergus a stealthy bitch, too. So mm -hmm. You use that term as a term of endearment. <laughs> Bitch, I'll follow her in case there is a combat I can help. Okay. I'll be behind behind Thrum. And family bonding in the back. So it would seem. Just getting you guys set up on the map here. All right, so this particular map is quite large, so it might slow things down a bit, but hopefully it'll work. I'll move you guys over. Did you shift click us? I'm working on that now. Okay. Weird, when sure. I was working on this in Firefox earlier, it's fine, and now I'm on Chrome and it's being laggy about it, weirdly. Yeah, usually it's the other way around. Yeah. Um, did you have the dynamic lighting enabled when you were on Firefox? Yeah. Okay. Sometimes, um, like, I'll be working on things with, like, the dynamic lighting, like, layer and stuff, but they won't turn on the dynamic lighting until I get to that point. Mm -hmm. And then it changes it, but... I don't know, then. I, I shift-clicked it, guys. Are you still seeing black? Yep. Or... No, I nope. see you. I'm good. All right. Let me... Uh, you, know, you know what this makes me think of? 
Have you any of you ever seen the old um, Nickelodeon show Ah Real Monsters? Yep. Nope. This like little area here reminds me of that for some reason. Oh, yeah, like, I can see that. The yeah. colorfulness of like green pukey like sewer <laughs> area. Yeah, because these pipes are actively disgorging shit. Uh, which would remind me, everyone except for Freya, give me a constitution saving throw. Uh, Thrum and Tascal have that advantage for being dwarves. Because poison. All right. Looks like only. I think we're still Ivy. waiting on um, Freya's roll. Uh, no, oh, she doesn't have to roll. Doesn't oh, have yeah. to roll because she's inside a sealed suit. You just said that. Yeah, that that felt logical to me that she's just completely exempt to it. Where is? Ooh, I see the bodies in there now. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's not good time. So Ivy failed. So while I'm getting music set up, one second. So she had the poison condition? Yep. Fun. I mean, if it makes you feel any better, she would be taking all these stealth checks at advantage anyway, so it only just brings it to a normal. Do you not know me at all, Gombo? You know my normal rolls are already at disadvantage. All right, so this is how we're going to do it. Is I I liberally borrowed a system from Wrath and Glory called uh, Stealth Scores. So what it is is that we're all going to roll stealth for each of your characters separately, and then you're going to record that number, and then actions you take on your turn will slowly lower that score. And when it goes lower than someone nearby's passive perception, that's when you're spotted. Uh, Freya will roll her suit at disadvantage because she was clanking through that um, sewer system there. And if you find a good hiding spot, you can use your action on your turn, or in Ivy's case, a bonus action to reset your stealth score. Hope you guys are recording these numbers because I'm not. <laughs> yeah. So Damn, we start... got some high stealth there. Uh-huh. Start with initiative and then stealth. Initiative, stealth. Gotta say, most of us have above a twenty in stealth. I don't think um, Freya's got on there yet, but mm-hmm. yeah, she has... would do her stealth at disadvantage because crawling through the clanking pipe. Yeah. Like this is before we've crawled into the pipe, or is this after we've gone? This is the... this is you exiting out into the facility. Gotcha. Just making sure I had that correctly. Yep. I'm trying to roll here. Yeah, so I had to reload, and now it's not wanting to. Like, it's keeping me on the uh, screen. Probably because the map's really big. Yeah, it's jerking a lot for me. I wasn't doing it earlier. Um, not for this time because you already have it set up. Um, mm-hmm. Something I found that works good when you're doing that is you take the image and split it into multiple images before you put it on roll 20. I found that doing that instead of one big image helps a little bit. I see that. Yeah, I, I guess so. That's, so, for instance, like if it's 20 thing. by 20, like that's small, yeah. make it four. No, five, I, I, five, I understand five. what you mean. I'm just from a programming perspective, I'm trying to figure out why that would make a difference. It's an academic. I, I don't thing. know, but for some reason, every time I do that, it works better. Okay. Again, I don't know what Roll20 mm-hmm. is like behind the, the digital ones and zeros. Mm-hmm. Is it still not lighting you on, Michael? That uh, should be the stealth, uh, because I just rolled 2d20 there. Okay, so... 9 plus the stealth? Yeah. Oh, let me try something real quick. Oh, here, I'll if you want to just add me to the initiative, yeah, that, I'll do I, that. it's not letting me switch tabs in order to look at my sheet and click on it and roll the initiative and put it on the turn order. Yeah, I got it. So I'll try and get that fixed. Yeah, hold on. I'm going to just try quickly switching browsers. It, yeah. wasn't, it wasn't giving me any issue when I was working on yeah, it. Yeah, Michael, just... if you haven't tried it, try switching browsers too. Sometimes that'll work if you switch from one to another. 
that's why I didn't think it was going to be a problem because when I was setting everything up in it uh, earlier, it was just smooth. And all the people think that D and D one is going to replace physical tabletop. I still find that funny. There we are. Oh, that's so bizarre. Yeah, I switched to Firefox and now it's completely smooth for me. <laughs> Normally it's the other way around. I'm going to take a quick bio. Okay. Oh, well, you know, we did trick rocks into thinking. Sometimes they get <laughs> mad about it. <laughs> um, so a couple things I've looked I looked up are like some of the lagging issues for the past mm-hmm. month. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people have been having issues lately. Um, some of them have found relief by clearing their cache. Yeah, I did that this morning. Um, some say the audio seems to be causing problems. Like audio is like capping out the um, power of roll twenty, and it's causing lags on some people's end. I guess. Uh, let's see. If you're using Firefox, uh, file Firefox. Mm-hmm. Apparently, um, auto complete and auto fill for like searching and stuff causes lag on roll twenty for some reason. Yeah, I don't even use those. Yeah, so I don't know about that. Um, certain extensions and add-ons are interfering with Roll20 lately. You use any of those either. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah. They're just talking about for Firefox it's, and stuff. Yeah, it's just being a butt. That's all it is. Yeah. No, no, I'm just looking at stuff. That if anyone mm-hmm. actually had anything productive to say other than Roll20 be Roll20. I think when I come to my turn to DM again, I think I am going to try something else other than Roll20 and see if we have better luck. Mm-hmm. But I'm not sure what yet. Michael, do you want to? Um, I mean, Gumbo, do you want to cut off the sound and see if that helps? Oh no, it's it's. I switched to Firefox and it's all smooth and easy on my end now. I'm totally fine. I mean, if it would help um, Michael's computer. I don't think that would probably be Michael's issue if like he can't even switch tabs on Roll Twenty. Yeah. Yeah, um, once the um, once the room orders is up, I I might wind up um, when I we play next, canceling my um, membership to Roll Twenty and just trying out the um, Foundry one and just setting up a server, figuring out how to do that. Because I mean, if I can set up a server, where people can just access it anytime. I don't have to have it launched mm-hmm. and just see if that um, is better or not. Because from what I've heard, it's a lot better. And um, they have started adding some Pathfinder 1E um, support for, like, auto-importing things from websites. Like, or, like, just copy-pasting, like, NPC sheets and just splatting them in there. Yeah. <clears throat> sure as hell not going to do it in the middle of a campaign, but yeah, when I start a new one, I might try it. Are we are we waiting for anything or? Um, Cope went turn? to the bathroom and I think Michael is still gone. I haven't heard from him since he tried to roll for initiative. Yeah. Yeah, I'm back. I think Michael's uh, probably trying yeah, to breathe. I think I should be good to go. I think it's mostly just literal internet connection issues. Gotcha. All right, so. So technically, this is all underwater. So everyone except for like Freya would be moving at like a difficult terrain speed. But I'm just gonna say every round is two rounds because you're being sneaky. So you guys can move at full speed, and this doesn't take 20 hours. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> nothing says fun times like what do you do this turn? I slowly move down this hallway. <laughs> I move 10 feet this direction. Yes. So every 20 feet you guys move, you will lower your stealth score by one. Uh, Ivy can use her one free um, psychonic power a day to link you guys up via a telepathic network that functions within a mile or two. So you guys can silently communicate. So that's not an issue. Okay. 
Hey, Gombo, I forgot on um, Thrum's Barbarian build, he gets uh, water breathing and swimming. Can mm-hmm. he not do those in his suit? Um, he sinks, but he does breathe water. Okay. Yeah, the suit explicitly says it nullifies swimming because your body is literally dense rocks. But the yeah. um, teleporting and the water breathing are still 100% functional. Okay. That's why I didn't describe you as having transparent skin because you're breathing water just fine. Which is news to you. <laughs> still don't know how he's doing that. Yep. It's a, a centipede putting on his shoes thing. What? <laughs> you, you've never heard that parable about the centipede putting on his shoes? No. Is that every morning before the centipede goes to work, he puts on all 100 of his tennis shoes. And he does that every morning without a problem. And then finally one day, one of his coworkers said, so how do you put on all 100 shoes so quickly? And he says, you know, I don't really know. And next time he went to go put on his shoes, he was actually thinking about it, and he wasn't able to do it that quickly because he wasn't—he he just wasn't absentmindedly doing it. Mm-hmm. It's a—it's basically a story about how sometimes your brain gets in your own way of actually being functional. Mm-hmm. Also, centipedes don't have hands, so how is he putting them on? <laughs> Slip-ons. How would he tie them? Oh, they must have been slip-ons. Exactly that's a, that's a, the parable of the story, Joe. <laughs> Like, it works if you don't think about it. All right. Lost Michael, but um, it is your turn to sneak first, Thrum. All right. So I've got, I rolled my sneak already, so I just go. Yep. You said after every 20 feet it goes down by one? Those goes down by Did one. you guys lose me? No. I, I hear you. So oh. you, you. Yeah, it's you, giving me the connection interrupted message on all 20. So. Ah. Just. Yeah. All right, are we just going 20 feet each round? You could double move. Well, he's got 30-foot movement now. Yeah, so then you can move up to 60s. Just every 20 that you move, you lower it by one. So there's a metal door in front of you. It's like a slider. I'm just going to move up close to it to make it an even 20. Drop where I want you. Okay. Sorry, it's it's like yeah. Sketching along real slow for me. And he'll wait there for other folks. And don't forget to lower your score. Mm-hmm. Try to put it on my bar, but my bar won't. Yeah. Populate. I'm I'm sorry. Sorry. Roll 20 today. Yep. Yeah, I um, mean, never used to have this issue with bigger maps, but I've mm-hmm. noticed recently it's been having bigger issues. Like, um, when we go back to um, Rune Lords, that map you're in currently is fairly big. Mm-hmm. So it's probably going to have similar issues. This is what happens when they cut corners off the health bars. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. Don't you know the future is round? <laughs> well, I've always heard it's hip to be square. This will be following after Thrum. Mm-hmm. Guess that's a door there. That is a door there. Missed what we're lowering the score by from moving. Uh, every twenty feet, you lower it by one. Okay. And then it's just two. Mm-hmm. Okay. If it's difficult terrain. I guess that's a double move. Is there a number at which we should tell you we've hit? Uh, I think we're just deciding if we want to try to re-roll it, if we can find a place to yeah, exactly. to keep it quiet. Currently, you're unobserved, so you could do it here, but that would be your action. Uh, and we're just saying that every round on the initiative is two rounds, so you guys can move at full speed, despite the difficult terrain of being in water. Yeah, Otherwise, obviously, until we're, until we're in like a combat. But... Yeah, a combat situation would change, but... 
Uh, so now it's Ivy's turn. Does that you mean guys Freya can theoretically move at double speed because of the movements? Oh, hold on. Correct. Mm-hmm. Exactly. But probably can't be very stealth, stealthy. Doing that. Uh, yeah. She could get there as a move action. Can she examine the door and see if it's locked or um, trapped of any kind? Sure. Investigation. God, what kind of rogue has no investigation? Seven. Um, it looks like there's a uh, like a counterweight um, mechanism for sliding the door open, as it's just a solid sheet of metal. So you'll just need to give it a tug for the waist to engage, and then it'll slide open. Gotcha. Oh, say, Richard, the, the kind of uh, the kind of rogue that left their hometown for the first time like four months ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she she more had to keep an eye on who to pickpocket rather than what to break into. Yep, Iago. That's you, Loki. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, all right. And also, I, I forgot to mention, these hallways here are 10 feet wide, 10 feet tall square things. So, large creatures have no issue moving through them. But just Out of curiosity, for-, for Iago, would his movement, because his base movement's 30, right? Yes. As I said, it would normally be halved to 15 for water, but I'm mm-hmm. saying every round is two rounds so you can move at full speed. So that way, out of character, we're not here okay. for 10 hours. Right. Okay, just want to make sure. Uh, it, it would be kind of shitty if it took two full rounds just to leave this one fucking room. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> when you're under no threat. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll move there and decreases stealth by one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. when you guys get around like 16, 15, then start letting me know. I just dropped to 15. Okay. Because when you guys run into guards, you can move in front of them or around them, and we'll just say like their back is turned or something. It's only if you like stop directly next to them that it doesn't matter what your stealth score will be to spot you. Uh, Freya. All right. Um, so I did roll a nine. <laughs> yes, you are very much not stealth. So I think you- I'm going to roll stealth again. Yes, just spend your turn to roll stealth again. No longer at disadvantage, because you're not clinking through the pipes. Why did I roll a d10? And a d20? Seven! Oh, we're going to be here for a while. (laughs) (laughs) Um... (laughs) Well, I guess I gotta move up at some point, but... Mm. That is a seven on this. Do you have any uh, modifiers you add to it with the suit or anything? No, the suit's not stealthy. It has a ten in dexterity. I think. Yeah. Gotcha. The suit and, is not very stealthy at all. And Freya's not proficient in stealth for you to even get your proficiency bonus. No. No, okay. no, 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 <laughs> no. So just bad all around. Um, I, think well, I mean, uh, if I were outside of the suit, I may I'd technically get a plus two modifier just because my dex is a plus two. Mm-hmm. Outside of the suit, but inside uh, of the suit is a ten. I mean, it's entirely your guys' choice if you want to be stealthy or go loud. That's up to you. But let's try. Probably not good to go loud. Last, yeah. yeah. I would, I was just uh, importing the uh, the stealth score system because it was I I liked it because it was such a good way to simulate the whole like. Yeah. If there's an enemy there, you're like, no, your stealth score is high enough. You can just slip past. Mm-hmm. No, That's why we move exactly 15 feet that way. <laughs> then again, we can always have the noisier of us stay behind for Ivy to clear the way, along with whoever may be stealthier to take, you know, we'd have to stay perpetually grouped up. All right. Thrum, it's your turn. All right, Thrum is going to. Are we waiting for Freya? Because I guess Thrum and Ivy could. Keep I was gonna going say Ivy just shakes her head no. Remember, uh, Ivy linked you guys via telepathy. You can mm-hmm. in character talk to each other as much as you want without it affecting your stealth. You are. You guys in my head. 
You're very sneaky, because Ivy is psychotic now. I say you guys go ahead, and we'll be we'll have the heaviers back here. If you things go sideways, we'll charge up. But that will kind of Some pulls the, destroy the stealth. Pulls the rope. All right. Slowly. Door slides open, and you see a hallway that opens up into a much larger hallway. Thankfully, the water uh, is a natural lubricant, so the door is almost soundless, so your stealth score is not affected. (laughs) Uh, It opens up into a 40 by 40 square large main thoroughfare corridor, and you do see a door to the south, but you also see in a nook a large crustacean-like creature with tentacles from its mouth and two large pincer claws. Uh, it hasn't noticed you yet. Your stealth score is still high enough, even after that movement. Yeah, that takes it down to a 20. But it seems like it's standing guard. Not something to the south. You don't have to whisper. We can communicate telepathically. <laughs> Why are you whispering in your mind? Are you I able to take it before? Why are you shouting in my mind? Are you able to take it before it uh, alerts anything? I don't know. It's pretty big looking. Tesco, do you have any main ways of uh, hushing the opponent, magically or otherwise? Mm. There are two other ways to go. We could just go... uh, because you can move, you can move through this hallway so long as your stealth score is higher than its passive. If you mm. end your movement out of its area, you will not alert it. It's you know, it's a classic stealth scene mm. where you like wait for the bad guy to turn his back and then you slip by. I think that's the end of my movement since I opened the door. I probably can't double move, right? Um, I would say opening the door is an odd big interaction. So if you want to use a uh, double move, all right, he's gonna double move. And don't forget to adjust your score accordingly. Yep. Can you see my blue bar? I can. Does it say 19? It does. Okay. The font's a little wonk, but it does say that, yes. <laughs> it's just because roll 20's font, if you're not zoomed in, is a little... At least for my eyes. A little jank. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Taskil. Taskil. Mm-hmm. Forty feet. I guess I'll peek out around, take mm-hmm. a look at that thing, and go back around the corner. Mm-hmm. You can uh, do a knowledge nature if you would like. Same I view Rob. it also mentally communicate to the group that like even if it can't see us, it's going to see um, Freya by like a wide mile. Nope. Maybe if we all just descend upon it all at once, we'll have enough firepower to take it out. Yeah. Nope. Well, I would say that Thrum would have noticed, even if Cope didn't see on the map, there is a second one across the hall from it as well. Seem to be guarding the large double doors to the south. Yeah, it's obviously an important area. Is that your turn, Taskel? Yeah. All right, yeah. Ivy. Okay. Uh, going to move to here, seeing the creature. Uh, is going to make a double movement to get to here. 
That will reduce her score to a 20 now. Just a meager 20. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're pretty safe on the passive perception front. It's, it's a rare thing that has a passive perception of 20. All right, Iago. Um, I know, I'm thinking. Uh, is this something where I could do 15-foot move and use my second action to yep. re-roll stealth? All right, we'll go that route because I'm and, down to 15. And- to be to be clear, if you roll stealth, you do take the higher of the two. Your remaining stealth. Oh, okay. Roll. I'm okay. not gonna be that guy, except unless you roll natural one. Okay. If you roll natural one, then you stick your foot in something. It makes sense. Okay. But so I'm down to 14 now. So move and then attempted stealth. Yep. Yeah, currently a, enough of a hiding spot. That was not an improvement, so you're still at 14. Yep. Fred, did you hear that? You can 15 foot move and try and stealth again. He is muted. Mm-hmm. He's just really good at stealthing in person. Yeah. <laughs> All right, stealth. It, that is the best one I've rolled. Yeah. <laughs> Dad? Uh, well, we Does Flash of Insight not apply to... Uh... Not skill checks. I think it's okay. only... Um... Like saves, isn't it? Yeah, let me, let me check something, because I know that... Um... So knife, knife. Uh, uh, oh, okay. So, um, just so you know, for Richard, you're pi- piloting Ivy right now. She has side bolstered knack. Where if she fails a skill roll, she can. Yeah, if she fails a skill roll, yeah, she's proficient in. Yes. So, I know it doesn't. Yeah, I, I was looking at it earlier for the um, certain other when we were talking about another save for investigation, but she couldn't use it on that because she's not proficient in it. Yeah, yeah, I was just double checking, but hey, that's that's helpful for sneaking around. Oh yeah. I mean, uh, advantage on stealth and with a D8 optional is a pretty good ability stacking. How many dives does she have at this level? Uh, six. Sorry. And she had used one to communicate with everybody, right? Uh, she gets one free use of that telepathic ability a day, it says. So, gotcha. The psychic whispers. After that, each additional activation. Number of hours equal to the die rolled. So, yeah, anyway. Uh, thrum. Uh, do we want to have Freya get here and then obviously draw them in to where we're attacking on both sides? Or um, we might forward? need to deal with them before they can raise an alarm and once they see her. Mm-hmm. So it's really a war of how tough you think they are. Yeah, because I have a feeling they're going to see um, Freya no matter what we do. It's just a matter of we can whack them fast enough to not raise alarms. Well, do we want to wait until she gets up here and she can draw their attention and we all attack at the same time, or do we want to go down and try and assassinate Let's see how close she can get. We might have to just react once they hear the shuffling. All right. Well, in the meantime, I'm going to come up here, take a peek down this hall. Opens up to another one of the larger corridors. I tried to make the flooring look a little bit different between these different areas, so it was easy yeah. to tell the height differences apart. Then he's going to come back. Come on, computer. There we are. 
so he'd be down to a 17 now. All right. Taskal. I guess I'll pass turn if we're holding here. Okay. Did you want to try re-rolling stealth? Because remember, you it won't lower your score unless you get a natural one. I'm still at 20. Yep, then you're good. So. Ivy? Uh, sorry, I'm checking what she has. Unfortunately, not Fergus's invisibility ring. Right. <laughs> That um, would be quite the dark, The um, Shadow Blade spell, that wouldn't produce light because it's a blade of no, shadow, it, right? it's very explicitly a shadow, yes. Okay, she's going to conjure a third level of that. All right. Yes, despite, all, she's going. despite all of our lightsaber jokes, it very much is just a thing of darkness. <laughs> mm-hmm. So a dark purple. Yes, it it is the uh, Mace Windu lightsaber, mm-hmm. not the Dark Blade. I thought it was the Dark Saber myself. That's what I was thinking. Uh, doing anything else? Just stand put. Just stand put. All right, Yago. Move fifteen feet and try to re up the stealth. All right. Uh, still not better, but uh, I'm at 13 now. Okay. Never mind, Iago might blow up first. <laughs> right. She says that she's still not used to talking to everyone's head is all at once. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she's been spending a lot of time with um, I've what can't remember the mushroom guy's name. Uh, Miku. 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 Yep. Who's also missing and no one's asked yeah. about yet. So that's super nice. I think we did last time. I just can't remember mm-hmm. what we heard. Was uh, he in the mines with? Uh, yeah, he's with. Fergus. He's with um, Nogrim being studied. Oh, yeah, that's that right. Was, that's right. That was Freya's, um Ivy's best guess. Mm. Probably Aiden. God, he so, can't communicate down here with spores because they just need to get mixed with the water. Mm. So if you want to get Miku back, you're going to have to try to search for him in here as well. All right. Freya. Uh, Do you guys want me to move in, stay behind the corner? You come on in. If your score doesn't get any better, we'll just have you spring him, spring the trap, and we'll fight him. But uh, keep trying to make it better. Stealth better. Well, it continues to be a 10. One of these days you're going to roll a 20 and we're going to be like, run! (laughs) (laughs) Get as far as we can. Slowly creeping through the hallway. Uh, to be fair, you are in like a tank. <laughs> Drum. Yeah, this is like the infantry skirting along the uh, hedgerows, and then in a minute, Frey is just going to roll over the hedgerow in a tank and stop and shoot these guys. <laughs> uh, all right, he will take a shot at making it better. get worse I guess that's some really good out of the gate ones <laughs> yeah yeah that's it for him all right Taskle. yeah are we doing this thing then we're, I think we ought to wait until Freya gets into the middle of the hall and then... I mean out of character if you guys don't care about stealth Freya can just move 60 feet <laughs> really quickly. How many how, how many enemies are around the corner? Just 
One or two. Saw two, I think. Two, two that we know of. Two big creature things that you can see. Mm-hmm. If nothing else, I say let's have Ivy take a pot shot at one and see if we could get a clean kill. If you believe that, that that's squishy. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they're that squishy. They're giant. Yeah, Iago has no idea what they look like or anything like that, so. Oh, yeah, you ain't getting there yet. Yeah, they're yep. giant crabs. Probably going to be uh, tough outer shell, soft candy inside. I guess I'm passing turn again. All right. Ivy? Um, so, I mean, there is more ways to go if you guys don't want to risk these guys. It's not like you got... I mean, we could always backtrack, but I don't know. I just don't think we're going to be able to get Freya past them. Like any, really? Yeah, any direction we go, <laughs> if we come across people, we're going to have to deal with them, so... Mm-hmm. Uh, just double checking her abilities real quick. Yeah, she's just gonna hold off for a second. All right. Here I go. All right. Uh, hopefully his stealth isn't too bad. We'll move up to Tascal. What's your stealth at now? Um, let me check. After you move up to Tascal, that is. Yeah. Uh, it'll probably be what 12 13 they will drop to 12 but that's i got de- i'll let you know that's here. definitely the danger zone with most enemies yeah um 15 to get there and then not wanting to be able to trigger attack we'll use try to refresh the stealth uh, 14 you, i think part <laughs> of it is um Kenneth, is your screen going kind of slow too? Hmm? No, I think it was my mostly. Yeah. Are you um, skipping when? Is it like jerky when you try and move? But it is. Yeah, I think it's because those of us uh, that have a character also have vision through Iago and our own character, so it's really double doing it on the. Um, well, I can mod- I can modify the token if you guys would like. Yeah, if you can make that token just be. Or um, at least turn it off for me. I bet that'll help mine. Yeah, just do it for um, Loki since he's the one controlling it right now. Yeah, I have. To, I'm just gonna modify the sheet. Oh, it's like because when Loki moved that token, my whole f- screen froze, and then all my dynamic lighting changed. So I think that's what it was. There you guys go. That should have affected the token. Yep. Only. I believe only uh, Loki should be able to see him through him now. I'm going to try moving him real quick. Anybody I see you? Um, your, your line of sight is basically the same any way I'm looking, so I can't tell. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I accidentally hit the back button. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I'm going to take a quick bio while you guys are troubleshooting that for just a second. So I'll be okay. right back. I'm go get some more water then. Yeah, that didn't fix it for me. I'm still pretty choppy. All right. So yeah, this week is the week of technical difficulties. Yep. <laughs> we every now and then we'll just get a week like that. Mm-hmm. I was working so smoothly when I set it up earlier today. You still missing some people? I'm here. Okay. You are uh, archiving your old maps, right? Yo, oh, yeah, most definitely. Okay, just making sure, because that can also cause Yo, oh, yeah, lag and stuff to happen. No, I only leave the ones that I think that are in short-term possibility of being used unarchived so i don't have to dig through them yeah i i i would usually uh keep i would err on the side of keeping more things archived than not just because it's so easy to unarchive them and you just use a map yeah
well, if everyone's here, we can progress. Just if it's quiet, I don't know if we're yeah. missing anyone or not. So, I'm not I'm sure here. about Cope, but I think everyone else is here. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. So, Loki just moved. I'll yeah, have it up my stealth. Yeah, I'll let you know that that 14 equals their passive perception. So, I'm giving it to the defender, so to speak, you. Okay. Uh, so. Or the grass. I don't know. I'm giving it. Yeah. <laughs> it, you met the DC, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that works. Right. Yeah. Do, do you guys want me to keep doing still? I mean, you could try. If we can get by them without breaking and having to fight them, it'd be better, but. Or you could move your full speed if you want to surprise bomb them right now. Yeah, that's what I'm asking everyone else. I mean, do you realistically think you're going to be able to get through the stealth? I mean, the odds are should be in our favor soon, right? I don't think that's how gambling works, Loki. <laughs> and give hey, self one more we're shot. Going up. <laughs> Time to rock and roll all day long. Slowly, like against the fucking wall. <laughs> she accidentally flipped the theme song button to her stealth mission. <laughs> All right. Thrum. Is there any indication from them that they are hearing us? Uh, currently, uh, I'll let you know that Freya isn't quite close enough to trigger their um, stealth, and no, and Iago uh, just managed to beat his stealth, not alert it yet. All right, so I guess we don't know what round or where their movement will fall in. Yeah, I haven't rolled their initiative yet. I'll I'll do that after you guys get a surprise round on them if you attack. Because then you'll okay. have the first surprise round to attack, and then if they roll low on the initiative, all of you guys who have turns before them will get to act before them. And if you manage to kill them in that time, then the alarm will not be able to be raised. All right, do we want to go ahead and attack them? I think now's the time. All right. Stop moving screen. The key is going to be to try to take them out without them getting a turn. <laughs> yeah. and that would really just depend on what the initiative they roll too. So, but you you guys will all get your surprise rounds first because Thrum is at the top of the initiative order. Yeah, that was my thought. Was let's yep. go ahead and do it. I'm slowly okay. inching over there. And you can teleport too. Don't forget to go. Yeah, so if you want to kick this off, just kick it off. All right. Pop off, Queen. Hi, my name's Thrum. You look uh, (laughs) slightly hostile, so I'm going to rage and hit you now. It would be at advantage because you're surprising them. (laughs) Thrum just very politely comes up to him and says, (laughs) Hi, we haven't met, but I'm here to kill you. Hey, wilderness girls. If you guys hey, look, maybe in another lifetime we could have been friends, but in this one I'm going to beat you to death with my bare hands. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen the Loaded Weapon parody movie, you're, you're missing out. I haven't. Right. My favorite parody movie is forever going to be Dracula Dead and Loving It. Oh, yeah. Loaded Weapon has uh, Emilio Estevez and Samuel Jackson and they're parodying um, Lethal Weapon. Uh, yep, yeah, 21 will hit. Do we get full um, full attacks in the surprise round, or just one? Yeah, nope. It's it's a full on turn. All right. All right, that'll hit as well. So and then bonus action, he raged. So that's it for him. All right. It's still very much standing, Pascal. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
we're moving at normal speed now, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, guess I'll shoot uh, shoot that one. Mm-hmm. At advantage, because surprise. That'll hit. All right, so it takes eight piercing and then two fire because underwater gives them resistance to fire damage. Uh, okay, and that's it for you. I guess you. Yeah. E? Half speed movement and shoot. Ivy. Hi. Okay, so she can move here. As a mover. She can bonus action dash as well, which helps. Yeah. Because I think that's what I have to do to get her through here. Just let me double check yep. with her stuff. She has some stuff that lets her... Let's see. Okay, that's no if you use the dash action, but her, her bonus thing, I think, is just disengage and dodge, isn't it? No, she's a rogue. She can bonus action dash. Oh, yeah. Either way, she had to use the bonus action either way to get here. So Yeah. And she would get a single attack with the Shadow Blade. At advantage. So no, nope, because she's poisoned, so it's just a flat roll. Right, right. But I think she'd still get sneak attack. Yeah, it's as long as there's somebody attack. threatening. Yeah, if she's And, and this is a surprise guard, round. So, it's quite yeah. literally a sneak attack. <laughs> yeah, like, even if that wasn't the case, as long as there's an ally and yes. everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, that'll hit. Maybe. So, 31. 31 points of damage. It does not like that. That's a big wound, but it's still standing. These things are tough. And um, since she still has the movement for it a little bit, she's just going to get behind Thrum. Okay. It can't take reactions in the surprise round, so not an issue. Yep. Yago. All right. Gotta move 15. To get here and take a pair of shots at this one the hand crossbow advantage advantage because surprise round hit hit and it's six and it's up to you if you want to action surge or anything or not on the surprise round if we're trying to kill him in a hurry, we might want to yeah. try it. Yeah, let's, also, let's if, you, if, you, if you got a pair of hand crossbows, he's got two weapon fighting, so you can bonus action fire a hand crossbow. I don't think well. he has a pair. I think he only has the one, because that's what we had extra that we gave him. So he gotcha. Didn't okay. Time. But he can action surge and fire two more mm-hmm. times, though. Yep. And up to you if you want to include the uh, marksmanship, which gives you a minus five to the attack roll, but plus like ten to damage. It's up to you. Actually, yeah, I'll do that for this. These next two. All right. Um, you, there should be minus, a little button that you can click. Yeah, you can, you can. There's two buttons you can check uh, off. One will do minus five attack. One mm-hmm. will do a ten damage. Okay, we'll get that shot. Okay. Um. Even with the minus, minus five, that second one would still yeah. hit. Uh, so that's twenty damage. It is nearly dead, but it is still standing. One more shot. Mm-hmm. Uh, that would be 18. That'll hit. 20 damage kills it. See? I told you Iago could do some damage when you guys give him a shot. Right. (laughs) Well, when he actually can hit, it's just, I was rolling poopy buttholes against Mm Thrum. And Ivy. Or not Ivy, sorry, Freya. Uh, Your suit has swim speed, so you can move the full 30, no problem. Yeah. That's the plan. I'm gonna kill this other guy here. Give me a Do second. It. We got rid of one, so hopefully it clears the way for you to wipe out the other. Cannon time, bitches. Oh, he is very laggy. Roll twenty. Thank you very much. Okay. Can I? <laughs> okay. Thirty feet there. Should have line of sight on it. Yep. Yep. 
So you can take an added advantage uh volley cannon attack. Yep. That's the plan. Advantage. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, that will not hit. Shit. You kidding me? The damage was... Damage was actually pretty low for it, all things considered. But... Can you recharge it with a spell slot? Yeah, I can. But uh, I believe that costs a bonus action to recharge it with a spell slot. Yeah. Uh, so, now I will roll its initiative... It rolled a seven. So it is going to be right after right after um Iago. Right after Iago. So you guys still have a shot to kill this thing. Get him. Your attacks will no longer be at advantage because it's no longer in the surprise <laughs> round. But you can still very much try to kill it. Um now, normally, I would say that in the stealth thing, if you guys can grapple someone, you could clamp your hand over your mouth to stop them from making a noise, like Splinter Cell style, but this is a giant tentacle crab <laughs> monster. I don't think you know where it makes sounds from. Right. Yeah. We just hear a bunch of um, Squidward noises. Yeah. Or um, Zoidberg noises. Mm. But Thrum, you're up. Uh, hi. My name is Thrum. Here's a your friend. So I will attack you. Okay. Natural one. You'll and get more attacks. Off. <laughs> That'll miss. And then bonus action with them. Uh, that'll hit. So that will be doing nine damage. And it's a opposed grapple. Uh, Sorry, right. 17 is an attack. That's my... My athletics check to try and oh, okay. wrap them up. Yeah. Uh, I'll just add that health back. Where was that roll when you were fighting us? <laughs> right. <laughs> Natural yeah, twenty. It's not. Three. It's not grappled. Nope. And I would say Gamba, we didn't, we didn't talk about this. I I would say it doesn't. He doesn't take any damage since he didn't get grappled. Yeah, if he, he doesn't get off grappled. The chain or something. If he, yeah, if he doesn't grappled, he doesn't take the damage. Uh, all right. Tasco. Mm hmm. So I'll fire off another shot and uh, actually use this. Mm -hmm. Actually, use my bonus action to summon the uh, it's a weapon. weapon. All right. That will definitely hit, though. Uh, smooth 11 points of damage. Mm -hmm. All right. Still standing. Ivy. Okay, she can't move that way without having to use her bonus. Um, Shadow Blade attack at disadvantage. Uh, actually, no, it would be um, normal because it's still dark. Okay, well, I rolled a 12, so that's still what I missed. All right, yeah, that's still what I missed. And then she'll use her bonus action to use her um, bonus blade. Mm -hmm. That one will hit. Not as good as the other one, but 14 points of damage. Man, that that surprise round was so strong too. <laughs> I know. We we dropped we dropped hard after that. For, right. We we blew our load very early. <laughs> Still up to Yaga. Bunch of one pump chumps. Mm -hmm. Um, does blade and black powder apply to crossbow or no? Uh, I believe it does pl apply to hand crossbows as well. Okay. Okay. Although I don't think you're able to get into melee because yeah, you're not able to get into melee because they're all crowded yeah. around it. Okay. I, I forgot he had that ability, otherwise I would have gotten out of melee for you, but... It's okay. Not bad. There, and attack twice. Yep. Um, we'll do sharpshooter, go big or go home. 
Okay, yeah. I'm down up to the wire at this point. As well. Mm-hmm. That almost certainly hit. 17 points of damage. Nice big hunk. Oh, gets wow. one more attack. Uh, 13 will miss. Yeah, figure as much. And I don't think there's anything else I could do. Um, nope, that's it. Okay. Wait, what was this double up? When you hit a creature with a sexual range attack, firearm. Oh. Nope, that's not it. It's not firearm. Okay, go ahead. All right, it is its turn. Uh, having detected intruders, it is going to use its bonus action to raise a call where it sends a strange reverberation through the water and it bangs one of its claws against the ground. Little, little way. Basically. So you guys don't know what's going on with that. Can't wait until we find a crab tank. Uh, but that's its action now, or bonus action. Now it's going to take its action, which is two pincers attacks. One's against Freya, one against Thrum. So first up, Freya. Freya, you mean Ivy? Ivy, yeah. Sorry, I'm getting them confused today. Uh, which will hit. I did that wrong. And grappled. Yep. Uh, and then uh, one pincer against Thrum. Does Ivy have the ability to reduce the damage uh, She's by not half? high enough level rogue yet. Ah, okay. No, she is. I was oh. going to use the reaction. At, you get it at fifth level. Oh, uh, okay. So she cool. can take half the damage. Yeah. Uh, 16 against Thrum. Uh, that'll miss. All right. And uh, Ivy is grappled in one of its claws as well. <laughs> Throwing me for a loop that you have the blue bar tied to Ivy for her side eyes and not her AC. I, whatever you want to do, that's just how I. Well, no, I, I can't change it because if I change it, it changes her side eye on her sheet because you have it gotcha. connected. I mean, it's, I can. It's, it's I fine. Can. I can just check her sheet. It's just I'm used yeah. to having it right below the hell. Mm-hmm. Raya. Michael? All right. Going to uh, use a bonus action to... Or I'll just roll to see first, if I, mm. I can. Yeah, back. before you spend your bonus action to reload it. Okay, I do get it back. Hey, nice. So I will just launch another one of those. Just a flat one. There hey, you go. Natural 20. <laughs> yeah, it's very dead now. <laughs> Yeah, it sends up the alarm, it grabs Ivy, and it starts lifting it up like it's going to try to wrap its mouth tentacles around her, and then just its head just atomizes and it slumps to the ground. <laughs> Sorry, guys, turns out the sights were slightly off. <laughs> it's a little hard to aim underwater, you know, the water refraction, whatever. Would, would you believe I was <laughs> aiming for its claw? <laughs> <laughs> You got lucky there, Ivy. Maybe we should go before reinforcements come. See if we can yep. just Step keep them guessing door. where we're at. We're at a doorway, aren't we? Down here? Yeah. Yeah. Doorway yeah, right killed, there. We killed the They're obviously so guarding well something. It. It's mm-hmm. good bet that there's going to be something in there that we mm-hmm. hopefully is what we're looking for. Yep. Can the you still move down for you? Hmm? Can you, can still, you move? still move down? Yeah, you're going through this door. Okay. Yeah. Because your guys are currently very much out of stealth right now. So where do you want me to move? We're going, We're going through, through this the, door. To the south. Yeah. It's going to be the front. It's going to be the front diamond door. I swear to God. Probably. Yeah. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys open up the door outside. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> we should just come in here to begin with. Okay. <laughs> I crawled through dead body parts for nothing. <laughs> Builds character. And this I'm, not, I'm not sure that's the kind of character you want to build. 
And this heavy um, steel banded door is very much locked. Uh, thankfully, yes. Ivy does have her thieves tools. Because, you know, rogue. The downside is she's poisoned, so it's going to be hard lock. Upside, she can add a D8 to it with her psychonic powers. So. Could have had a D8. Either way, Thrum. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard for you guys to re-engage stealth uh, in the exact spot where the alarm was sounded, if that's mm-hmm. what you want to do. But, no. Stealth mm-hmm. video game logic, if you move to a different spot, you could all try to re-engage stealth. Are there any crates or boxes nearby? No. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a different that campaign that we can do in the future, Loki. Uh, we our, already played that. In our pure Metal Gear Solid campaign, <laughs> then we can get cheeky like that. <laughs> um, Thumb's going to move to there and go large. Okay. And let Nivy go up to the door. All right. Pascal. Mm-hmm. So move uh, there and kind of keep guard behind us. Mm-hmm. Also, I don't think you ever put down the token for your spiritual weapon. Yeah, but now we're going at double speed, so it may or may not. Uh, well, now we're back in combat time yeah, because well, um, back out the, here. Alarm, the alarm was sounded. I haven't removed the uh, enemy from the initiative order for a reason. <laughs> There's more. All right. Ivy. Uh, oh, wrong button. Gonna go down there and get the thieves to one. Yep. As she touches the metal door, there's a brief pop of stack electricity, but it's otherwise harmless. Uh, that is not enough to undo the door, so she can keep working at it. Yeah, this is the same thing you had a D8. Yes. I'll try it. 17. 17, that is enough to unlock the door. I don't know. And you were... You were mocking all of it. She's picking the lock. It's not as she sneezes as a blast of psionic <laughs> energy just um, snaps the lock in. <laughs> Look what I did on purpose, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, the, the Freya blowing the head off that thing reminded me real quick. You guys ever seen the movie, the highly underrated movie Treasure Planet? Yes, I love it's, that movie. Yeah, it's basically Treasure Island, but in space, it's... I realize after reading the Spelljammer books, it's basically just Spelljammer, and that kind of makes me love it more. Um, one of my favorite jokes from the movie is near the end, where there's kind of the like sissy academic professor guy who's along the entire time, and they're in the belly of the ship, and they're a bunch of pirates uh, coming after them, and the captain hands them a pistol, and he fully closes his eyes, sticks a finger in his ears, and aims it and shoots... And it hits a suspended crate, which falls down and hits the catwalk the pirates are on, and they all <laughs> fall into space. And the captain turns to him and says, did you actually aim for that? And he says, did you know I actually did? <laughs> <laughs> I love shit like that. I, I love that. That's better than doing it by accident. He's like, holy <laughs> shit, I actually meant to do that. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Gombo, on Nivy's token, will you check real quick and see if we have vision on that, too? Yeah, sure. You probably do. I mean... Because I just noticed when I go off of our tokens, I can scroll around and move fine on the screen. Yeah, I'll just switch to just... um, Right now. Yep. The doors will open here. I mean, we'll get a little bit hinky here, but I will explain it as I reveal what's in this room. Nogram's become a mad scientist. Got it. <laughs> oh, dear God, let us catch Nogram and the uh, mushroom man in a weird pose. So you guys should be able to see that now. Hey. Mm-hmm. 
That looks uncomfortable. Small I can't animals. tell you what I'm seeing, but it's mm-hmm. not good. Um. So we will slide a couple minutes back in time here uh, to Nolgrim's perspective. So Nolgrim, the last three months for you have been a little bit different for than for everyone else. Uh, rather than mind sculpting you, they've been holding you here. You haven't been conscious the entire time. You've been sort of sliding in and out of consciousness as these abolists have been performing experiments and studies upon you. Uh, Where you are currently is you are suspended. There are chains around your hands and your feet. The chains on your hands go over to the ceiling. Chains on your feet go to the ground and you're suspended in midair. This entire arcane apparatus is seeping, uh, sucking warlock magic out of you. And uh, you see the two uh, forms of two abelis kind of absently swimming around you. Um, here, I'll just link a picture of an abelis. You guys probably already know, but it's easier <laughs> than describing it because they're a little bit odd. Aren't they weird, like, lamprey-looking, like, octopus things? Yep. Like an octopus with the mouth of a lamprey with some weird, like, Cthulhu-esque thing. And three eyes, yeah. With some tentacles. Mm-hmm. They are... Yeah, so that's the octopus part, then there's mm-hmm. the lamprey mouth, and then some Cthulhu-esque um, eyes and tentacles on the face. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that looks like my nightmares. And it's, I thought, thought Ron was going to say that looks like his ex-wife. And it's a large creature, so it's about the size of like a great white shark, a little bit bigger. As you, as I told you before, Cope, I think these things are objectively worse than mind flayers. <laughs> mm-hmm. Of um, course, it's all the aspects of a mind flayer, but then deep sea mysterious creature. Yeah, they're one of the they're uh the fans commonly refer to them as one of the big three aberrations. It's aboliths, mind flares, and beholders. Mm. And yes, beholders are the weird one. <laughs> Cause they're all beholders are an entire thing that I'm not even gonna get into the, in this campaign. But they literally create new beholders because they imagine what would it be like to have a new beholder and then it creates a tiny beholder, they see each other, then they both scream and immediately try to murder each other. It's it's an interesting existence. <laughs> um, but in one of the f- uh, fleeting moments of your uh, consciousness here, Nulgrim, you see these two abolites, you don't know that they are, but I'm just describing them as that, a uh, swing in this large domed room around you. Uh, though your vision is kind of fading in and out, you see the forms of um, the dwarven shades like you always do. But rather than standing there and passively, it looks like they're trying to run away, mm-hmm. like away from you. But they keep like flickering like, like a horror movie ghost image, and they're getting dragged back towards you. Uh, the Aboliths are speaking, but I know for a fact that it's not a language that you understand. But then... It's like a cast comprehend languages. <laughs> oh, you don't need to, my friend. Oh, uh, you get this, though you cannot turn your head, there is a slight motion to your right side. And you kind of get that, like, hairs on the back of your neck, uh, standing up thing mm-hmm. of, like, when someone's really close to you. Mm-hmm. And a person begins whispering into your ear. And though it is slightly delayed, you can tell they're translating what is being said. And it's... It's weird because you're underwater, but you can still kind of feel the breath of a person whispering a dwarven into your ear. Mm. So just take a moment to imagine what that would feel like while being suspended and having the life force drawn out of you. (laughs) Right. Not not a good time. There's definitely a lot of anger going on right there. Mm Mm-hmm. So I'm going to take a drink of water because I'm going to need to roleplay a conversation, but since this 
thing <laughs> translating for you is doing it in a perfectly monotonous tone. You can't easily tell who's who's talking. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to need to <laughs> work some role play magic here. Mm. All right. So this is the translated speech. Uh, kind of jumps in mid-conversation. The subject is much like other warlocks that we have encountered, packed magic drawing from an alternate source. This one appears to be a collective of smaller entities trapped in a trans-dimensional space. This does not seem highly irregular. Just an alternate source. The dwarven demi-types often do experience connection to the souls trapped in the ethereal realm. Correct. But it is also connected to a secondary source. A separate alternate to pocket filled with variant aberrant souls. Hmm. Peculiar. Other dwarves of this disposition of packed magic have not experienced a secondary connection before. Explanation? Perhaps it is the Anthema? Not impossible. Anthema's methods are commonly subtle. Underscored. Though this does seem too indirect. Power readouts are high. Leave it hooked into the engine. It could power a great many obelisks. Indeed. We shall suspend more invasive testings for now to not risk death of the specimen. It is around at this point you all hear um, banging from outside the room uh, because uh, out of character, this is you guys beating the shit out of the tools and raising the alarm. Threat assessment? Most likely Binding Tide Raid. Mm -hmm. Preserve data. See about re retrieval of specimen. Uh, and that is when the everyone else comes into the room. So all this like nova of electricity is coming off of Nulgrim as they are exploiting his packed magic to essentially just constantly drawing an endless supply of spell slots off of him. Uh, this is something that anyone with training in Arcana would be able to tell. So, so you've uh, created cold fusion. Essentially, dwarf-powered cold fusion. Exactly, underwater. So I will put on some combat music here, as you guys are about to fight a couple uh, aboliths. Uh, where is the one I was looking for? Uh, no, that's not one. I need to really vet my music selection here because I'm losing track of things. <laughs> uh, nope, that's not it. That's not it. Um, so if we get in here, kill these things, rescue okay. Nolgrim, are we going to look for uh, Miku? It's up to you guys. Uh, yeah, well, I'm pretty dead set on finding everyone that's still alive. Mm -hmm. um, so just be cold-hearted not to. So I will uh, pull I up the... So, yeah. This is it's coming out of Nolgrim. Is it like an, an identifiable element? Like, is it electricity or fire, or is it just like arcane it is genuinely yeah. arcane if i was to assign it's just like pure arcane energy if i was to as force to assign a damage type i would say it's both force and electricity if that affects some of your abilities okay i was just wondering because uh how am i trying to get nolgar out of here <laughs> yeah because he's currently bound by uh chains so thankfully the avalus rolled quite low is there any, like, overt, like, are they manacles with a lock? 
uh, locking device on the manacles or killing they would need to get closer you're so long as you're hooked into this machine you're basically at like i don't know all but the last level of fatigue you can't even really interact because you're sliding in our consciousness makes sense yeah all right um i believe it was from who uh ivy who just opened the door so it's iago think uh the princess bride you're on the torture machine <laughs> right and they're taking 20 years out of you it's you loki oh that's right uh Belgrim isn't yeah. rescued yet so <laughs> that's fair that's fair all right move there and we'll take a pair of shots at uh, the one on the left. All right. I'll feel them out without using sharpshooter. Yeah. Miss. Very much a super miss. miss. Yeah, these ones don't even make it to the target. They kind of spiral off into the water. Mm-hmm. And I'll have you guys know, although I put it on the map, the electricity itself is not like an active terrain thing. So you guys can move into these bolts I put on the map because it's arcing all over the place into the walls. Kind of like Tesla coils. So mm-hmm. it's going along a predetermined path. All right. Before Freya's turn... Okay. Freya. Okay. Uh, hey, Thurman Tatsko, can you have my back? I'm going to go try and uh, pull uh, Nolgram out of this thing. Okay. Okay, then I'm going to cast Protection from Energy Electricity on my suit. Smart. And then... Going to move in. So after moving thirty feet inward, any effects from this? I'm just going to quickly look at the effects of protection from energy to let you know. It just gives me resistance to the damage type. So okay. If, yeah, I'll take half of whatever. Okay. Damage electricity. So you only take five points of electrical damage then. Okay. And it is now the Aboleth's turn. This one is going to him, keeping to the outside of this thing so it doesn't have to save against... Or actually, hold on, let me check the reach on these. Uh, yeah, so it'd just be here because the samples have 10 reach. I was going to say, reach is kind of their thing. I'd be surprised if they didn't have it. Yeah, I, I just completely forgot. Like in make... Pathfinder, when you become an, uh, mm-hmm. an aberrant sorcerer, one of the first things you get is a 10-foot reach. Yes, so it is going to make two tentacle attacks against, or three tentacle attacks against you. One, two, three. Uh, let me check. Those might not hit. Oh, on the suit, they will hit, yeah. Though. On the yeah. suit, yeah. Uh, the 13, I know the 17th would. Not hit on the suit. Gotcha. I was going to say, damn, your, your suit has an AC of 13? Those 17s. They wouldn't hit my body armor, but they do hit the suit because I got rid of the increased you- armor. You can ignore that uh, other text stuff. I should just turn that off real quick because you guys are underwater, so it's not applicable right now. Uh, yeah, spoilers. They, uh, they, their tentacles put a curse on you that makes it so you can only breathe water instead of air. That's why some of you can breathe underwater right now. <laughs> but either way, that is nine plus seven, so sixteen points of bludgeoning damage. Yep. This one 
is going to move there and also swim. This room is about 60 feet tall, so it is going to swim uh, 25 feet up. And does it have... No, it doesn't have good... Uh, um, can I retroactively yeah. I use the shield on one of those attacks? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. If you use shield, then it would apply to both of them. Yeah. Because that's oh, yeah. your turn. So yeah, yeah. You, can, you can reaction shield and just nullify all that damage. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Yep, 100%. No problem. Either way, Iago, wisdom saving throw. That's you, Loki. All right. Um, that's so. Uh, doesn't look like Lecture Sue is hitting in here so much. I was asking to you for do a wisdom saving throw. Oh, gotcha. Sorry. You got it, Diago. You're up next. The Ableth is uh, using its enslaved power on you. Oh, well, good thing wisdom's my. That? Bad throw. <laughs> well, uh, all right. Oh, I was happy to give you a flash of genius if it were anything but what you did roll. <laughs> right. <laughs> but it would just be a waste for me to get it. Yeah. yeah. Um, Fortunately, I already burned my sec- action surge and all that. So. Yep. So you are now charmed. Uh. It has telepathic control on you. Uh, so on your turn, it's going to have you start attacking your allies. All right. Here, I'll just drop them in the chat for the sake of transparency. This is fine. Boom. Thrum, it's your turn. All right. Thrum is going to... His own surprise. Oh, hold still. Turn into a little bit of a whirlwind of water and then teleport to there. Say what the hell just happened, and he's going to throw the hand axe that he had pulled out Mm -hmm. at this guy. Uh, This one? Uh, the one in the south, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, I like this one that's up in the air. Let's throw it at him. Yeah, I, guess right. I don't think it'll have a disadvantage because it's out of your reach, isn't it? Because hand axes don't have uh, reach. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So let's go to the one that's close. Also, uh, a hand axe is a slashing weapon, so the attack roll will have disadvantage because underwater. Yeah, and you can't go beyond your first range increment. Mm-hmm. Mm, so would that be out of range? Yeah, because it's it's twenty five feet up. But I mean, this one you can still hit. It'll just be a disadvantage to try to hit it. I think. Correct, Abundo. Okay. All right. So this is a disadvantage. That's not even the. I'm just gonna. Oh shit! If I can use my crossbow. Okay, I'm gonna roll the crossbow. Okay. Um, but it's the hand axe. Nine will miss. Okay. Forgot he has a crossbow. <laughs> Tasco. Hmm. Guess I'll run up and try and uh, cast protection from evil and good on uh, Iago. Yeah. Uh, that all I believe that automatically just ends mind affecting stuff. He gets a new saving throw at advantage. Against All right. it. Alright, go for it. Yago. On it. He's immune to it if they try it again, but mm-hmm. gotta beat a fourteen. You do. You no longer charm. And I guess uh That was very fortunate because yeah. his uh twenty damages could have really hurt. Mm-hmm. That's the tricky part when you're fighting Abolus. You also have to kind of sometimes fight your party. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I've been speech 20 feet, so it's there. 
All right, at the end of your turn. Yeah, move, action, and bonus. So. All right. Uh, the Abolith that's by Freya is going to spend one of its legendary actions to perform a tail attack against Freya. 26 will hit for 11 points of bludgeoning damage against Freya. Your shield would still be in effect, but I'm confident a 26 would get past it. Did you get that, Michael? Oh, he's not in the call. So I guess he didn't get it. Well, I'll just subtract that off of the suit. <laughs> well, we'll just go to IP. I'll just subtract it off of the suit. Excuse me. Um, she's going to throw a couple of her psychic daggers at this thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, should I roll, or are they just immune to psychic damage? They are not immune to psychic damage. I just wondered because they're fabulous. Yeah, uh, yeah. a nope. valid question. Fair question, but no, they are not. Um, is Freya threatening them? Does she have reach? Or I do not believe she does. Okay, so this won't have sneak, but that will hit five, and then the bonus blade. That will hit. That's it. All right. Yago, you briefly were out of your mind. <laughs> that was unpleasant uh, sensation there. All right. Um, since we seem to be putting in all our attacks on the one on the right, he'll join it in and uh, take a pair of shots at that one. Okay. Focus fire. Uh, with a minus five, that'll miss. Uh, um, I'll try it again. Uh, that'll hit. Nice, solid 20 points of damage. There's a reason why they tried to use their enslaved ability on you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, it's back in the call, it would seem. So. Yep. Michael, you're back. Other than muted. Okay, cool. You took uh, 11 points of bludgeoning damage because they took a, a, a legendary action against you. Though I think uh, he already deducted the, the hit points. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. cool. Okay. That, you know. All right. That's their turn. All right. Freya, it's your turn. All right. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Um, so I'm going to continue f- forward here, I think. All right. Um, actually, let's go ahead and do I need to roll to recharge the cannon if I want to fire it? Um, I don't know because it's kind yeah, of a we're, separate. We're still combat. in combat time from last time, so just go okay. ahead and give it a roll. Yep, well, you're charged anyway, so it's all good. All right, I am going to fire one off at this guy as I continue to move forward towards Nolgrim. All right. So that'll hit. Take sixteen force damage. And then yeah. move forward towards Nogram. Yep. All right. The next tier will take 19 points of uh, lightning damage, which your resistance elements does have. Cool. Now on your next turn, you can start using actions to smash the chains off of them. Yep. 
So you want me to do like nine or ten damage? Uh, nine. Okay. And let's see here. Yeah, it's going to use another legendary action to take a tail attack at you. Fifteen. That will miss. All right. It is now their turn. Uh, this one is going to put a little distance. Get up a little higher in the water. And then I will need a wisdom saving throw from Thrum. And they do target Ivy with the same ability, but they do not know she's immune, so it just instantly fails. Okay. So just a wisdom saving throw from Thrum. Cross your fingers. I was going to say, if this fails, I think we're all dead. Yeah. <laughs> Flash of insight. Yeah, you can flash him inside him if, because uh, it's a fourteen. Uh, yeah, hunting for. Um, that'll only be a plus five. I thought it'll still fail. Yeah. Uh, that'll be a plus five if I give you that. Do we have any way to re-roll? Nope. Nope. We don't have rolls in this one. Nope. Okay. So throw him your bad guy again, and it's uh, your turn. Oh Jesus! Now this is kind of metagamey because you guys wouldn't know it, but. A part of the Aboleth mind control thing is that uh, if they take damage, they get another save. Yeah, that requires us hitting Throne, though. And yes, we also have a, how well that went. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> Listen, guys, I can do a plus five on any saving throw. Yeah. You just need to roll above a ten, please. <laughs> Alright, Throne, it's your turn. Um, will, uh, bonus action go into rage. Uh, you receive a telepathic command to stop Freya. Rage it up and, uh, oh, fuck. He has an action. It's about running away this way. A whirlwind, and he teleports to there, taking lightning damage. Thrum, what are you doing? 13 points of uh, damage. Give me another wisdom saving throw. It's possible you pass this. That's not reduced by rage, right? It's, it's not it? physical damage, so I think it doesn't get reduced yeah. unless you're a bad No, it, it's lightning, so it doesn't Look, the odds that you get out of this with this save are very high. I you just got to get a nine or higher. <laughs> uh, he only gets one attack, so he is going to attempt to grapple Freya. Wait, why are we going to get one attack? Because after I do my teleport, I can only attack one. Uh. So a 28 to your opposed... Either yeah. athletics uh, or acrobatics. Give your uh, suit like a strength or acrobatics. Yeah, I think my suit actually. Yeah, just the strength. Uh, did it roll? <laughs> I rolled at advantage because I still had advantage. Also, nice. Wait, why am I getting? I'm getting. You have ridiculous athletics. Yeah, you you have plus twelve. Oh. oh, that's right. Yeah, either way, I can roll the one. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, so eleven damage, and you're grappled. The dice have turned against us. <laughs> hey, this is still be a better death than fighting Thrum alone with all of us <laughs> against him, right? <laughs> yeah, Avalis actively trying to counter mind control you and everything like that. It's a little bit more cinematic. <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. Tasco. Well, first off, I guess going at an angle and be able to get up to him. He's at what, 25 feet? Yeah, up? I should be able to do that. And 
spiritual weapon. Probably not. No, that'll miss. Looks like there's uh, stuff coming up on us from behind. I'll take a pot shot at the uh, one we've dealt most of the damage to with the uh, crossbow. Seventeen. What? Yeah. Nine damage. (laughs) Ah. And I guess I'll move on up. Ivy. Couple disadvantage throws at this thing, I guess. Mm -hmm. Unless you want to close the physical distance, because you can swim up too. Yeah, but it wouldn't really do much different. Like, there's no um, melee people to go up with her, so she's going to do the same regardless. That'll hit. Ten. And bonus action throw the other one. We'll miss. Um, Just get a little bit of distance on this thing. That's it. All right. Iago. All right. Am I still limited to 15 feet of movement? Yeah, because you're underwater. Okay. Um, if I move but there, can I use <laughs> the uh, free use item thing to close the door? Uh, it, this is definitely too big of a door to do that. Okay. Then I'll go there and then go there and swim up a little bit. Try to close the distance a little bit. And then uh, two shots with the crossbow. Uh, miss. Because of the minus five. Yep. Nope. Yes. All right. It gets there, but that's its double move. Freya. Drum's got you. Okay. Uh, what are you going to do to get out of a grapple? Uh, beat and oppose strength check. Or athletics? Or athletics. Well, but the suit doesn't have a flex, it only has strength. Ah, gotcha. All right. The grapple really doesn't hinder you from doing other things. So you can yes, this is attack, true. or you can work. You can attack the chains on on Nogrim. It's just like I'm just like, holding on to your big suit. Mm-hmm. Well, I rolled strained at all. Two, and I'm checking something real quick. Oh, yep. I can add plus five to that. Okay. Because there's an ability check. So Thrum, roll your. Um, yeah, you get out. You don't even have to add the plus five. <laughs> All right. Um, and then is that my action? I believe that, so. Yes, that is your action. All right. Uh, I guess I'm just going to get a closer look at this, whatever mechanism. I, is I think you can bonus do one bonus action attack with your suit at this level, if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. I can. So let's try to slap uh, Thrum out of it a little bit. All right. Hey, Thrum. Stop. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. That 18 misses you? Yeah, he's got a 19. Okay. Well, either way, uh, one of the Abolaths is going to use two actions as a legendary action to do Psychic Drain. So I don't know why I didn't roll the damage with that one. Yeah, those ones don't for some yeah. reason. Uh, you take seven points of psychic damage thrum as this Abolith then heals itself seven points of damage. Does he get another save or does yeah, that he get a physical thing? It's, it's damage, so he gets another save. <laughs> thrum. <laughs> thrum. Come on, man. <laughs> 
Uh, did he get damage? Uh, oh, I guess I should mention this for me. The lightning to the damage this turn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good point. Good call. Uh, he'll take it on his turn. But... Yeah. But I want to make sure he does take that damage. So that, yes, okay. he will. On his turn, he will. Okay. Uh, End point of damage to the suit. So this apple is going to swim down a little bit, and it is going to make three tentacle attacks against uh, our friendly neighborhood Spaniard there, Iago. One, two, three. At least two of those is going to hit. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me see what his AC is. Definitely, it's not 20, 23. Nope, 16. So, so that would be 26 points of damage. Considering the man made of literal rock has an AC of 19. <laughs> yeah. Right. And this one is going to swim over here. And it'll get a little bit lower. And, and Pascal's is 21, so... <laughs> use its uh, multi-attack again. Mm, tentacle, tentacle, tentacle. One of those will hit. Mm -hmm. Ten points of bludgeoning damage. Boom. All right. Hmm. Thrum's turn. First up. Okay. Take nine points of electrical damage. You can give another save. Can he um, soak that damage? Or attempt to root? I will ask you, Cope, as a player, do you want to? Because I'm not going to... I mean, he can reduce it. He can reduce some of that damage. Yeah, sure, go ahead. He's not going to block the damage. He's still going to have to make a save. It's yeah. just how much health he has at the end. Of uh, yep. Yeah, so he would only reduce it by three. Yeah, by all means. And That's still hilarious. The uh, bar was working for me for my character on the previous map, but now it's not. Yeah, Are that's that's, me? that's not a map thing. Roll twenty is having something screwy going on with the bars. Uh -oh. Cope, what is your problem? Just you and your rolls, man. man. Thrum is not a wise man. <laughs> Remember what I said, Cope, about how when you fell into the ocean the first time, a couple aboliths found you, and I didn't roll because it would have inevitably failed. This is what I mean. <laughs> it's a I mean, DC it's a, 14, and you got a plus one, my man. <laughs> You're, you would have yeah, he's rolled many, many times now. Very, very poorly. So I he's going to start punching Freya. First punch. I'm yeah. convinced he's just in league with him now. <laughs> <laughs> and second punch. Yes. Second one will never. Yeah, and I don't know how strong Avalus are, but I know they're up there in CR, and we have two CR... We have two level 6 people, and then two level 10 people, I think. Three level 10 people. Player, you said yeah. on, well, they have a level said, 10. We have two. You said it's on Freyathrum? Yeah. Okay. He's been directed to only I mean, stop you. I mean, good news is all we have to do is try to get Nolgrim out of here somehow. So it's yeah. 14 damage, and then the chain attack uh, requires an opposed. Also, <laughs> like huge creatures, so these ones are probably nerds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I mean, you say that, but wouldn't nerd Abolus be worse? Yeah. You know, they might have spell casting levels. Have it looking at its at stat block. I honestly think its enslave ability is its worst. Um, because that's what turns the party. Because without it, they'd just be doing middling melee damage against you oh, right yeah. now. Yeah, they're only yeah. doing like ten a slap and yeah. taking more from things we fought at lower levels. Yeah. So do you grapple again, Cope? Yeah, yeah. he wraps a chain around you. You take a poke check again. From it. Nope. Nah, he already failed. Good yeah, news is you don't. He did succeed at stopping Freya from cutting the chains. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you don't have to try and get get out. You can just try and cut the chains first. Um, 
So wait, am I still mentally li- linked with these guys? And I'm just saying over and over, kill Freya, kill Freya, kill Freya. Basically, it's what they're telepathically commanding you to. Which reminds me, since you're still under control, and their turn just came in past, another psychic drain against you. You take 3d6 psychic damage as it heals 11. Although I don't think that'll provoke another save, would it? It would. Every time you take damage. Hey. Uh, I wasn't sure if there, thank hey. you. I can't soak because I already used my soak. Also, I don't think you can soak psychic damage, can you? Um, either way, it's yes! under. I was gonna say it's under your control, so it would forbid you from soaking it because it heals the amount that you take. So mm. it would forbid you from soaking damage from this ability. Okay, but All you right, do so succeed. The- You're no longer charmed. Why do you fuckers keep charming me? <laughs> Let go of me. <laughs> I'm trying to save our friend. No We're means no. Why do I have a chain? Why are we yelling? We're telepathic. <laughs> I like to think blah, we're blah, just doing blah. that mentally. The Abolists don't hear a thing. Meanwhile, on the other side of the Sunless Sea, and there's just a guppy and it farts. Meanwhile, back <laughs> at the fly. <laughs> uh, Taskle. I am ahead of him. Do stuff during his turn before he saved. Uh, do, do, do. Well, I guess I'll have to let go of the crossbow and pull out my axe and go with this lobster of octopus. Lobster puss. Lobster puss. I mean, I know what a chul is, but Tasco yeah. probably don't. Probably not. That most definitely hits. But twelve not. plus half of twelve. <laughs> the X. Or no, wait, nine point. plus half of yep. fifteen. fifteen. Yep. Yeah, out of character, it's a tool. Oh. And then we still got the hammer on the one. <laughs> 16, uh, just, just yeah. it feeling better. They're in sla- their enslavability has a limited number of uses per day, and collectively they've already burned through half their supply. <laughs> a little bit, but also only half. Yeah. So what determines in roll twenty whether or not the name shows up on the turn order? Oh, I, I on their token, I click the little button that says uh, "Show to players." Okay. Like I believe I said to Abolith for them, and then for the tool, I had that turned off. Oh no, I have that the tool to show you as well, so it doesn't matter. Um, and that's your turn. So it is Ivy. Um, would Thrum be threatening this one now that he's broken free of mind control because he has reach? Uh, I'll say yes. Okay, she's going to throw a dagger, a, a couple of them at him. That'll hit. Yeah, ooh, low on the sneak, though, but uh, 14 points of damage. Meanwhile, Michael is apparently possessed by a demon. What the hell? And yeah. miss, miss on the bonus plate again. And that's it. All right. Yago. All right. He's going to move up, close the distance, and uh, do uh, do weapon fighting. Okay. So it's, is it two with the firearm and then one with the... Uh... Um, two weapon fighting, you get one extra attack as a bonus action, so you could do like two swords and a crossbow or a mm-hmm. cross, two crossbows and a sword. Let's do two crossbows. And I believe he has... Does he have the thing that takes away the disadvantage for... Uh, yeah. yeah, he does. Uh, yeah. So yeah, you can fire your crossbows right into his face. Not a problem. How is he reloading a hand crossbow and swiping with a sword with his offhand? Only God knows. Well, to be fair, he's in the water, so he probably just lets go of the crossbow, cocks yep. it with his, his knee. That'll miss. Close it up. Miss. Then... Save a dice. Save a trash. But it would yeah. hit. The 22 yeah. would hit. So just ten, 10 damage. And anything that floats, you could just set in midair and be like, I'll come back to this later. 
No, it'd have to be neutrally buoyant. If it floats, it's going uh, up. And then bonus action, and I'll go ahead and... You're right. You, you're right. you already bonus actioned with the third attack. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. See, that's that's how the two-weapon fighting works. Yep. Okay, I gotcha. I'm picturing somebody with a whole bunch of weapon ropes or whatever they're called tied to their belt, and mm. all their hand crossbows are floating above their head as they come out. <laughs> I feel like that would be a quirk about all of Jiggles' equipment. It's all neutrally buoyant. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, it's going to take a ta- it one Ableth is Thanks going to so. take a tail swipe against Iago as a legendary action this and one against Taskal as a legendary action natural 20 Oof. so that's 24 mm-hmm. that's a paddle mm-hmm. and now 46 health and now the Chul will take two pincer attacks against Taskal. One, miss. Two, miss. Dud turn. Freya, you're no longer grappled. Thrum ended that. Okay, how do I get Nolgrim out of this thing? Uh, hard way, trying to pick the locks. Easy way, smash the chains. <laughs> Smashing the chains. All right. I believe you should have enough attacks that it's going to be one attack roll for the chains above his head, one chains for below his feet. Uh, you're looking at a AC 15. Any amount of hit will instantly shatter. it. Smash, smash. Um, with that, the um, the uh, all electrical thing goes away because he's no longer powering the machine. Uh, he goes limp and starts floating through the water. Nulgrim, give me a constitution saving throw. I imagine this isn't for concentration, so no advantage. Correct. Twelve. Twelve? You haven't quite regained consciousness yet. We'll add you to the turn order. See when initiative. You, the initiative order, yeah. Uh, so that would put you just under Taskal. So when your turn comes around, we'll see if you wake up and you're no longer having the unconscious condition. And I should have been rolling this before, but there's the recharge on the gun. I yep. forgot. And yeah. because the electrical thing is longer going, you don't take any damage from that. Ooh. I got him out! Mm. All right, Aboleth's turn. Got some tentacles on Thrum and some tentacles on Taskal. First up, Thrum. Un, deux, trois. One hits. Oh, yeah. Wow. 17 doesn't hit him? Damn. Yeah, he's got 19. Damn. Remember, that's oh, why I we rocked. had such a, <laughs> such a hard man. time last time. This, uh, uh, Cope so and I good. had that discussion in the side chat. Because I said that his rock armor added his dex like normal armor, and he was wanting to make an argument for like strength or constitution to really lean to the. It's oh yeah, you told us that last time. And then after that last fight, go remember him saying, "Okay, I see why you did that, combo. That's that would just be <laughs> ridiculous." <laughs> uh, and now against Pascal, one, two, three. Nope, none of those hit. As I said, without the enslave ability, mm-hmm. the uh, they they they're decent, but they're not near as like godly as you would think they are. Drum. Um, that's a physical attack, correct? Yeah. Okay. Forgot to reduce for rage. Yeah, it's bludgeoning. Drum will punch this guy. Forgot where he's six on there. Forgot his shards damage on there. Then do it. Yeah. Three more. Then punch him again. That'll hit. And try and whip him as a bonus action. Opposed. Athletics or 
acrobatics. Yeah. You think we should try to keep one alive? You think we could no. top? <laughs> <laughs> they can mind that control was, us just by looking at us. That, was, that wasn't even alive. Ivy. That was just Richard apparating through the ceiling of this, <laughs> this dungeon. Let's be clear. They can mind control some of us. <laughs> I think everyone but Ivy. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, some of us have a <laughs> It's just my control thumb for a fourth time. And he just starts laying into you guys. Mm-hmm. All right, so it does not get grappled, but it's other than that, it's still good. Pascal. Excuse me for wanting to learn more about the evil underwater alien. <laughs> I mean, you can try. I'm not going to stop you. Yeah, read a book. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Have you not read H.P. Lovecraft things, Cope? That's the worst thing you can do. <laughs> <laughs> right after yeah. dating people who aren't white. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> More accurately, a very particular kind of white person. Not Irish. <laughs> no, of course not. Of course not. They have to be from New England. It's specifically H.P. Lovecraft's house. <laughs> mm-hmm. They have to be his mom. Freud had a lot to say. I feel like there's a backstory here. Uh, H. B. Lovecraft was a exceptionally racist person, even by the standards of the 1940s. Other racists said, "Hey, dude, you're pretty racist. You might want to cool it." <laughs> it wasn't that he was racist against non-white people. He was racist against all people who weren't a particular variety of white people. It is worth mentioning he did cool it a little bit. Yes, he did. He did. I just like to make jokes. Mm -hmm. But he did name his cat a racial slur, so. Yeah, so. He's that. Oh my god. He's he's so racist that the racism in fact seeped into even other aspects of his life. Mm -hmm. So, wisdom saving throw for Aboleth. Fail. Wisdom saving throw for the Chul. Weirdly enough, higher, but I'm pretty sure that still fails. So that's yep, 11 points. Yep, so 16 points of rainy damage. They've got no resistances against this. Mm-hmm. And spirit weapon probably misses. Yeah, that'll miss. Do the spirit guardians have on scuba masks? <laughs> <laughs> on this episode, we find out if lobster and fish will blend. Apparently, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nulgrim, give me another constitution save to regain consciousness. Shift right here. Yep. Um, so what all of you see is um, for the first time the uh, water stirs and you see the flickering image of the shades of dwarven souls Um kind of swirl around the room and with a snapping sound they all shoot back into Nilgram's body and Nilgram's eyes shoot open. And just pure rage. Mm-hmm. Is that uh, my turn to do a saving throw? You since you passed, you can just take whatever you want to do now. Alright. He is going to look upon this one, because clearest line of sight. Mm-hmm. Uh, put his grudge upon him and say this marks the decline of your kind mm-hmm. and uh, start moving closer and as a action we'll reach out and from his empty hand we'll spawn kind of just coalesce and from shadow and spirit is his uh, war pick mm-hmm. or more accurately is less of shadow <laughs> More like, um, you know that black goo that you vomit up to uh, summon the grudge bound? Uh, You probably don't notice this, but it flows from the corner of your mouth in your tear duct and flows down your right arm and forms a pool in your hand that the war pick appears out of. But yes, you're armed now. (laughs) As Nolgrim is doing all his creepy badass witch stuff, uh, Mm -hmm. Freya will go... This is why we save Nolgrim <laughs> I suddenly have a strange itch to raise my middle finger high as I'm <laughs> mining these fucking underwater caves. <laughs> There's not the weird shit happened when I got angry. <laughs> but it is Ivy's turn. Uh, 
I'm just going to keep focus firing this on. Uh -huh. um... Yeah, fuck it. She's going to swim swim up to get in melee. Uh-huh. Yeah, because uh, Yago's threatening it now, so you can... Uh... And Shadow Blade does more damage for hits, so... Mm -hmm. Which it does not. I'll just try to stab with the bonus blade. Uh, why were you taking it at uh, disadvantage? Um, Because I'm poisoned. It is still darkness, so... Okay, well, they're still both nines on those first attacks, so... Gotcha. Both misses. <laughs> Yago. All right, um... Yeah, continue as before. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think I'll just do because you have a you still have your second wind you can use if you want. Yeah, to I, I was going to use that as my bonus action. Gotcha. So two shots. Uh, we'll pass on sharpshooter since that doesn't seem to be working out so well. Mm -hmm. That'll hit. Second one. Hit. Shift. Ironically, if you had used sharpshooter, <laughs> right. both would have hit. Right. Right. And I mean, then, that happened to me last last time yeah. we played. So that's always how it goes. Abolith is looking a bit rough. And second one to get 13 hit points back. Just in time, because both of them are going to use a legendary action to take one tail attack against Iago, one against Taskal. So, Iago? Taskal. Which of those both uh, hit? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oof, high rolls. Also, 20. tail attacks do more damage than their mm -hmm. tentacles. So 21 for Iago, 18 for Tasco. Okay, that was the uh, constitution save to maintain mm -hmm. concentration, right? Yep. I don't remember the rules on it. That passes, you're going over a 10, or was it half the damage? Half, half damage or 10, whatever's higher. Yeah. So either way, 17 would cover it. All right. It is the tool. Uh, same as second verse, same as the first. Double princes against uh, Taskal. On two. One will hit. So you take nine points and you are grappled. But it does have to do a wisdom save right now for the uh, thingamabobbers. Which it fails. By the way, this Abolith over here is looking super rough. Which one? The on one right. over by Freya and Niago. Okay. The one... Uh, Ivy, Ivy and Niago? Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> the one that Nolgrim's got his sights on is still doing all right? It's it's taken damage, but it's still yeah. very much in the game. Yeah, we'll it's... see if Nolgrim can fix that. <laughs> Freya! You're oh, no right. longer getting... Shocked, all the electricity's gone, so. So I see Taskal might need a little bit of help. Mm -hmm. Um, Don't quite want to steal Nolgrim's Thunder on that guy, so let's roll that. Okay, I'm going to bonus action burn a spell slot to recharge my cannon. And fire it at this guy, the chool. All right, chool, motherfucker, chool. There is no lobster, only chool. Battle head and do a <laughs> fat load of damage. <laughs> the volley of force damage causes it to reel back and stagger through the water. All right. Let Ab go, Master. Abolith's turn. We are going oh to daddy. need a wisdom saving throw from Taskal and Freya. From where is Freya? Is it a charm uh, thing? Yeah, it's a charm thing. Okay, because I keep forgetting I have Stubborn Soul, which is save advantage on <laughs> against charm. Oh, yeah. And is it a wisdom? Cool. Yeah, wisdom. Uh, it fails, so it takes 10 damage from the Spirit Guardians. So Freya, no. fa Freya fails, Taskal succeeds. And 
Task mm-hmm. super succeeds. My God. It must have taken them a long time to get him under control. <laughs> no, All right. I failed that. Can they the boat. do Freya when she's in her machine? Yes, they can. Okay. They have telepathy. They can sense people's minds. They no. don't need line of sight. It's not like a line of sight thing. Okay. Nope. Uh, but it is Thrum's turn. All right. Thrum is going to think about riding waves, think about riding waves, turn into cylinder whirlwind and reappear over there. <laughs> he is going to attack. Know... Go ahead. I was going to say, I know that you said cylinder of whirlwind through the water, which makes total sense, but all, I, <laughs> but you had a pause where you said cylinder, and all I could think of was like, <laughs> oh no, Thrum has gained the power of geometry! <laughs> <laughs> Just screamed, uh, Master of Cylinder! <laughs> I'm gonna... I am squared! Ooh, pie up round. <laughs> uh, you know what I just realized? You need to damage me to get another saving throw. And yep. you're in your suit. And the suit takes all of it. And there's about <laughs> 50 points of damage between you ever getting to my actual health bar. Mm-hmm. Unless it oh, starts um, so trying to siphon hit points off of you to heal itself. Yeah. And then bonus action chain to uh, oppose strength for the um, Ch- Chihuly. I'm just subtract it. Are you, are you attacking the Chul or the uh, Aboleth? The Chul. Gotcha. Then... So 11 damage and then an opposed to see. Okay, so he's grappled and that damage is wrong. It should be 8 damage. 8 damage, got it. Very close to death as it's wrapped in this chain that's protruding from your wrist. <clears throat> Still don't understand why I have a chain now. But I can move through water. Mm-hmm. Yep. Take me a while to get over to Freya to try and give her another save, but I am also very, very wounded. So I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on myself at 5th. You're also grappled, so I don't think you can move. Yeah, you're in its pincer. All right, yeah. So, but you can still, still cast your wounds. That doesn't change anything. Just yeah. verifying that you're making the right call. With all this. Yep. Uh, do do have the hammer keep swinging at the fish. Seventeen. That's it. Thirteen. Taking chunks. And at your turn. So. I believe so. Nolgrim. All right. He is going to move in closer. Get right up to it. And hit him with a valve enmity as a bonus action. Then hmm? attack, attack. And these would be all be at advantage. Yep. Sorry, at this one. Yeah. Get. That's 19 damage. Uh, that'll miss. Damn. All right. Okay. Uh, Ivy. Um, just going to try to bring this one down. Mm-hmm. That'll hit. Oof. That is. Oh. Um, yeah, when she rolls high on sneak attack, it's nice. 29 points of damage. Is that the end of your uh, turn? I was in the if it's still up, but yeah, I'll use a bonus action to swipe at it with a psychic flip. Yeah. That'll hit. God, it's on one hit point. So it's going <laughs> to use its legendary action to try to siphon some health from Freya right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, that damage is there. 
Oh my god. Yeah, so you can give another save, but it only heals up six hit points as Freya, you, not the suit, takes <laughs> six points of damage, which considering that you've got 88 health in there, not really a big deal. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, she, she's sitting pretty in there. But you get another save. Okay. You made me bleed my own blood. Come on, big money. Come on, like I'm the fucking super villain of an anime. <laughs> The first time I've ever seen my own blood. <laughs> we didn't tell us this halfway through this campaign. We switched to another perspective because once we get the Dwarven Kingdom back, we become the baddies. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to do that, but that would be an interesting concept for a campaign. <laughs> mm. uh, go ahead and give that wisdom save. Yeah. Yep, you're out of it. <laughs> Before you get a we chance be- to do anything. We become the other Dwarven family that's trying to get in. We become the deep gnomes that were subjugated after we took over the rule. Tatiago. All right, first attack and crossbow against the one right in front of him. Hit. Kill. All right, and then move. Somehow over shoots to... it in all three eyes with one crossbow ball. <laughs> Second one on this one. Well, hold on. Remember, oh. he's swimming half speed. I did. I was 15. Just check. Yep, yep. Yeah, 15 instead uh, of 30. Check it. He's not yep. a dwarf. Miss. 13 will probably miss, and then scimitar. Uh, disadvantage. It's a slashing weapon underwater. Ah. I forgot that last time, so I let it slide, yep. but I'm being better. Mm. Right, miss. Man. Specifically right. why, when I remodeled my suit, I gave it a trident instead of mm-hmm. an axe, which it had. I, yes, Nulgrim's war pick is piercing, so according to the rules, he doesn't get disadvantage. <laughs> Even though it's it's also a swinging weapon, just don't <laughs> overthink it. <laughs> right. Alright. It is the Chul's turn. Uh, Look, they don't have a swing or thrust weapon category. So it is going to make of two pincer attacks against the Yago. One, two. Second one will hit. Yes. All right. And then it still has a grapple because it's got two claws. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. Checks out. Uh, it's going to use its tentacle ability on Taskle. So uh, you make a DC 13 constitution saving throw at advantage because dwarf, if you fail, you're poisoned for one minute and paralyzed until the poisoned condition ends. Mm-hmm. There's a good reason why these things are guards at a prison. <laughs> well, you're not a, that's not going to be a problem then. <laughs> As it wraps its tentacles around you. Freya, you briefly weren't yourself, but you got over it. Well, my gun's recharged. <laughs> mm-hmm. Firing off my first shot at that guy. Okay. The tool. The- got it. That most certainly hits, and that just annihilates it. And then I will burn a spell slot to recharge and hit the remaining Abolith. Gotcha. Also a hit. For 22 force damage. Mm-hmm. Take him out, Nulgrim. It's going to use its legendary action to tail attack. Nulgrim. 19. You don't have your armor right now, so that'll hit. Yep. 16 points. And then it's its turn. It is going to hit Thrum with a bunch of tentacles. Oh god, just like his ex-wife. And I mean (laughs) that. That's all three of those hit. That's a lot of tentacles. So that's 14 plus 7 plus 9. Bludgeoning, so your rage would half all that. 15. He's going to soak one. Takes it down to 11, so not the bad.
No, there's a lot more rooms to this prison, but you guys find your way to the boss room immediately. <laughs> mm. Well, it's but a hey. double wide door that was guarded by two. Oh chairs. no, I'm not criticizing. I yeah. built the layout of this place. I knew what I was doing. Like, but we still gotta find Miku. Yeah. yeah. So that Miku that's what I was, just, I was just I was just laughing about it. Is all it is. I'm not like oh, yeah. I'm having a yeah. problem. And how, there's still plenty of Avalos that no one want to kill. How, how dare Avalos you find the door that I put right there? <laughs> <laughs> from gosh we're intelligent <laughs> uh, and handsome punch him in the face and modest alright uh, yeah that'll hit in the face again I won't miss oh, I won't. I, for some oh reason, we missed that one it, no it said it's health to eat I know. Then, just because I haven't used it yet he's going to use the uh Crush your feet. Okay. As he um, hits that one, he's going to push it back five feet. And then he's going to whip it. Whip it good. Whip it real good. Uh, if you're forgetting to t- take shards off of that, that's only seven damage if they fail. Okay, seven damage. He is grappled. Which he has reached, so it's not that big a deal. But yeah. All right, Taskel. Mm-hmm. You know, despite around. what the bar looks like, uh, yeah, it goes hurting quite a bit. He's got twelve hit points left. Oh no, the uh, bar looks. It looks right on our end. Just <laughs> yeah, for yeah. whatever reason, isn't updating your own character. Yeah, I'm. I that's... am just pleased that at least that's not a my map thing. That's a roll twenty mm. thing, right? Oh. Now. Right. <laughs> Yeah, roll 20 doesn't have a lot of it. It's roll 20. Mm. <coughs> so, Every time they update something, oh, like, seven right, things break. Disadvantage because underwater. Yep. Who knew taking the corner? Still, still, still hits. Still yep. hits. Yep. All right. That yet, that's on its turn. And that. I think I forgot to update that for two turns. So it's yeah, that'll, that'll miss. Yep. Oh yeah, I forgot to uh, roll for wisdom for the spiritual weapons on its on uh, your turn. Sixteen fails. No, the spiritual of the spirit guardians. And they need to get more creative names for shit. <laughs> <laughs> you got the power. Don't they have like it's three busy. or four spirit spells? Yeah, they're like all the bread and butter spells for clerics too. Mm. All right. Radiant. Yeah, spirit shroud, spirit guardian, spiritual weapon. So it's got the shit draconic ki- spirit. It's got the shit kicked out of it. It's wrapped in a chain. Like they've they've teed up the ball for you, Nolgrim. You have all your attacks are at an advantage. Mm-hmm. Please, dice work for me. Remember, Otherwise, you, attack, I mean, you come in for the you, steal. you don't need a natural twenty to attack on your other stuff. That'll hit. And then you know what? nineteen. Very let's, close to death. Let's go ahead and hit it one more time. Come on. That'll hit. Yes. And I will just go ahead and use the Elder Smite on him. Tag okay. on 3d8. And I'll also use a normal Smite. So 5d8 additional damage. Mm-hmm. And it's You can just roll it all together because they have no resistance immunity to force or radiation. Additional 25 points of damage. Uh- you explode it all the way in half. Oh, are you a full hexagon now? I yeah, I let him uh, do a, a a respect during this time, so he's a paladin warlock. Mm-hmm. Uh, and nice. I also told him the forbidden science that eldritch smite and divine smite can technically be used at the same time. I was wondering <laughs> if he figured that, or you told him. I didn't know about that. Um, yeah, and I'm like, wait a minute. There's no action economy here. They mm. just require separate spell sacrifices. Yeah. Do it on natural 20 and it just fucking die. <laughs> well, 19 and 20, thanks to uh, my grudge. Hmm. Does it not give a give an action type? Nope. Did you? Nope. No, it just uh, adds just... on to whatever you hit. You can you can expend spell slots to add the smite damages and they're two separate smites. And if you crit, you can decide after you crit and then that 25 would be 50 damage on top of whatever he would crit with. The, the only nice. caveat the only caveat is, is that Divine Smite can be any spell. Uh, the Eldritch Smite specifically says it has to be a Warlock spell slot. Yep. Mm-hmm. 
Although so, I think the Paladin, the Divine Smite says nope, spell any, slot. Any spell slot. Where oh, the spell Eldritch slot. One says... It doesn't say Paladin spell, it says, or Paladin spell slot. It just says spell slot. So, raw, that means it can be used yeah. any class's spell slots. That's why people like the Hexadin, as uh, Richard called it, because then you're, you can burn your Warlock <laughs> spell slots, which come back faster. And plus you have the Hex from... Um... Hexblade. Yep, and it, it's a very popular build online. Yes, mm. he's Oath of Vengeance as well. So he yeah, it's definitely Divinity. a very popular one then. <laughs> yeah, and it's super fitting with the Grudge Blade too. Mm. So yeah, my general because of how popular I know Warlock Paladins are, I normally I'm like, okay, like what would lead your character to be both? Because they the two classes have kind of opposite, but this is very much one of those situations where it does make a lot of. Oh sense. yeah, I'm not I'm not knocking the build. I'm yeah, just saying it's very popular. Oh yeah, Probably for a reason. She said my thought out loud. But yes, you guys managed to uh, explode some mind flares. Not mind flares. <laughs> Underwater mind flares. Well, listen. Oh, he, I'm not. He, he just spilled the big twist at the end. We're gonna go into a room, <laughs> and it's gonna be a mind flare that's controlling the avalanche. Let's, yes. let's settle on moist flare. You just you just <laughs> round the corner, and there's an octopus man with a newspaper sitting on the crapper, taking a yield cosmic shit. And he's like, oh, crap. Now you just it's reenacting Game stuff. of Thrones as a dwarf rolls in there with the crossbow. Mm-hmm. You guys have a brief moment of peace. You're certain you know, that the alarm says, has, has been sounded. One more time. <laughs> certain the alarm has been sounded in here. But it's around this time that Nolgrim Runic, who freckly gets rescued, uh, takes a moment to just vomit into the water. Which just kind of floats in your face. <laughs> it's all it's just getting, getting worse. Come out of nowhere and start eating it. <laughs> Doing my best impression of a uh, octopus. The mm-hmm. <laughs> so, Nolgrim, you know anything about these fish guys? <laughs> <laughs> uh, knowledge Arcana. I mean, I'm gonna say disadvantage because you just came out of three months of like yeah. being doped up. <laughs> so disadvantage, but you can give it a shot. No, oh, yeah. I, was I know that I hate them, with but also every fiber like, of my being. Also, like every he does have everything that he's. I don't know. It seemed like he was kind of sort of semi-conscious during that experience. So, yeah, it, he definitely yeah. remembers that they're doing that. unpleasant things mm. to him. I hope you protected your cornhole, buddy. <laughs> he seems a little bit twitchy and just shaking with anger. Mm. Especially at that implication. <laughs> <laughs> Throw acting like he's an expert. Like they personally, they go for it's the cornhole. <laughs> I've been down here longer than all of you guys. Well, with that, mission, shit. Though, I, I found a clip of Nolgrim being experimented on. Oh no! It's on YouTube, so you know it's safe for. Work. Mm-hmm. I mean, unless you know how to tap. <laughs> oh God. A butter's scene from South Sock. I believe I know this one. Mm-hmm. I recall the first couple of minutes or the couple of seconds. Like, oh, I remember this episode. Yep. Mm-hmm. So I could take around to use Beacon of Hope. Oh god, that's just awful. <laughs> <laughs> use mass I just love at the end. Whatever traumatized your son, we're full find it. Full <laughs> 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 yes. Whatever traumatized him in the past, we'll find it with the new trauma. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna forget about what happened to him before completely after this. <laughs> All right, so did is Miku here as well in this uh, complex? That's the belief. You have to search for him. Mm. So at this point, the alarm has thoroughly been raised. The uh, the sneaking mission is over. <laughs> Ivy, did you see Miku after the whole thing happened? He definitely got taken down into the water. I thought I saw him being taken in here. I could be wrong. 
I didn't see him have any indication or was he just too out of it to really (laughs) have seen anything like that? Retroactive wisdom check. Not saving through just wisdom check. Check. Definitely not a saving through just a flat check. This is almost more. Nope. (laughs) I remember who Miko is. (laughs) All right. So. Then I guess the question is, do we continue to look for Miku here? Do we try to find Fergus first? We're here already. There's still plenty of people here I think we could wipe out. Yeah, I imagine the alarms will be raised even full further if we came back here later. So Hmm. all right. All right, so there are no more doors. This is just a room. There's There's other there's other doors, but I don't think from here, is there? Door to the south. Oh, Oh that. yeah, sorry. The the shadow was a little weird. Yeah, I was gonna ask that, but it never really felt there opportune you go. in the combat. Um, Two entrances into this room. It'll take <coughs> my last fifth level slot. If I can do Beacon of Hope and then Mass Cure Wounds, but it's only twenty nine HP to everyone. If you're talking to us, I think you're being very quiet. I heard him. Beacon of okay. Hope then. Fifth level math to your wounds. Never mind. So how much? How many hit points back? Twenty nine. It's three d eight maximized plus spellcasting ability mod, which is only five. As high as it gets, but only five. See, I had faith that you guys could defeat two abolists at the same right. time. <laughs> as long as you know they kept breaking their enslavement. I mean, cause... <laughs> they're they're trying to save themselves. Yeah. Also, to be fair, they did it like four times against Thrum, and he never broke out of. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Mm. The other he just liked it for swapping over from Spirit Guard and speaking of Opus, you'll have advantage on will saves if another bunch of guys show up. Not impossible. Which uh, might need given the battle. Uh, <sighs> Is concentration up to one minute? So, ten rounds. But that's when my turn cuttings around next, because we're probably still in turn order. I'm gonna reset the initiative after this. Is what I'm saying. Since we've added some people mm-hmm. and some stuff has happened, you can take like ten in-game minutes to catch your breath. Short rest then. No, oh, that's an hour. That's different. <laughs> if it's an hour, they're closing in on you, my friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we don't have the flute to play a cat nap. Mm-hmm. All right, so go ahead and do that. Although I don't think that would work in the water anyway. Is well, everybody's health grouping. back to where it needs to be? or? Um, we haven't gotten the healing yet, have we? We've gotten some from uh, Tasco. Uh, I didn't see it rolled. I thought he had to roll it. I just did it with the Beacon of Hope. If we're taking more than one round to stand around and regroup, then... Yeah, you can take more than one round. Because I could use a prayer of healing to give everybody 2d8 plus 4. Yeah, Yeah. mine's pretty low. Because that's a a 10-minute casting, so if we have 10 minutes, we could use that. Oh, wait, don't do that. I can use my poultice. We have ten minutes. I could also cast mending twice. I believe. I believe it's five minute cast. It might be ten. Let me check. You can cast at least once. I know that. It's a minute casting. Two d six healed on my suit or four d six. Oh yeah. Also, you can bonus action repair it now. I just remembered that's an ability thing you have. Yeah, I think I got limits on that, don't I? I got that like last level. Yeah. Is anybody still shot in healing? Because I get this prayer of healing. Heals up to six creatures. I still haven't seen the healing that Tasco did. Did I just not show up on my screen? It's maximized because turn one, Beacon of Hope, which maximizes healing. Ah, yeah. oh, gotcha. Oh, so no, I, that's I, didn't, I didn't hear. Um, for some reason, Tasco or Kenneth was coming on to my um, headset really, really quiet for a second there. Mm. Yeah, so I well, did. I was looking away from the mic to read my other monitor, so... Um, so it's actually only a one minute casting time. So do you want me to roll twenty d six or no? You, you can just go. say it's. I'm not gonna bust your balls about it. Other people here have bullshit stuff looking at cope. <laughs> 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 I've got uh, 
full charges on the stein, mm-hmm. as weird as it is to drink alcohol underwater. <laughs> That's not weird. Is anybody still shy on hit points? Mogram's full. Yeah, go. Yeah, Ivy's the match. Like the way you said that's not weird, Cope, I'm like, oh, you've definitely had a beer underwater at a swimming pool, haven't you? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, <laughs> and in the ocean. But Thrum's, the, Thrum's still got some room to go if you've got something to burn. Because he's got paladin spells now. Which means he's, since it's a divine spell list, you've got access to the entire list every time you long rest. Mm-hmm. Maybe you just gotta choose them, I think. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's up to you. I got this thing recharges two charges every day, so. If there's only like two people there are low, then go ahead and use the Stein. I think it's just Iago and Thrum. Uh, I could definitely yeah. take a drink. Check the number. Yep. Sixteen for throne. Good. It's two charges. Uh, non dwarves doesn't help as much. It'll give them. Does it? Is it not maximized as well with picking a hope? Actually, yeah, it might be because uh, it's any healing. I think so. Yep. That but would actually maximize. be uh, twenty. Plus four, plus four, plus four. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. 44 plus 4. <laughs> and same for uh, Iago? It'll give him a level of fatigue because he's not a dwarf. Oh. Yeah, because he gets he gets wasted from it. Gotcha. All right, don't worry about it. You're still doing all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm good enough. Hmm. So as we wait for the fish police to show up... I mean, do you want to camp out and wait for it, or do you want to continue? No, I think we continue. Because they do south. have an army down here. Yeah. And all those Move doors to the, the door. north. Oh, there's all those rooms to the north, too. Mm. I think we head south. We have an army. We have a thrum. <laughs> it's a more protected room. <laughs> Unfortunately, that thrum is very susceptible to the particular kind of mind control that you need on. <laughs> Get out of here quick. I, I'd even argue it's a fetish at this point. He just lets it happen. <laughs> Guys, that time with the underwater fish people, I really discovered something about myself. <laughs> he, he has a new ex wife. Oh, that's canon. <laughs> I mean, he's got a 13 wisdom. It's not terrible. It's just I don't have... He doesn't get proficiency in it. From, uh... Yep, her name was Yoxifer. Unfortunately, he doesn't remember her because of the, the coral. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. The best. It, my head cannon I'm still running with is that uh, actually when you meet them, all of Thrum's ex-wives are just absolute angels and he somehow thinks they're awful. <laughs> that, <laughs> or funny. we need to have a part where when we reunite the dwarves with their kingdom, mm. we're going to have to fight a league of evil exes of Thrum. <laughs> right. <laughs> Look, man, you didn't have to live with them. <laughs> I'll second that. Wait, you did? Do you know how early in the morning they woke me up with breakfast in bed? <laughs> <laughs> Like 8 a.m. <laughs> and they always made the eggs sunny side up, and I said I like them scrambled. God damn it. Just <laughs> non we just... wanting to have sex with me. It was unreal. <laughs> just completely incompatible, me. <laughs> we couldn't make it work. <laughs> <laughs> what was even worse was that they all got along with each other fine. Yeah. Uh... I guess I should ask since this is like 10 more minutes before 8 o'clock. Do we want to just stop the recording here since we've gotten into silly mode again? Up to you. Five guys, bring it up to I've, the group. I've got tomorrow really off, so I don't... Have silly mode. Yeah, I'm, I'm good either way. Um, yeah. I'll probably stay on the call for a little bit. Yeah, I mean, we are probably going to run into something else, and that's going to yeah, take at I, least I, a half I, hour. Yeah, yeah that, that's the only reason I ask, because I know we're going to want to get into at least another fight. Yeah. And a fight's going to cause, a, yeah, like kind of at least another half hour. Well, do we want to run down map scramble the... until we get there and then pause it there? We can do that if you want. Yeah. Yeah. 
We need people on the initiative tracker for that, though. Uh, I think the only people we're missing is Nogram and Freya. Nogram's on there. We're missing Nogram Freya. Oh. There. Uh, I'm not on there for some reason. Well, they got reset, so you have to add it. Yeah. Got okay. It. Oh, here, I'll, rather, Freya. I'll just say you're all like closer together, so you can start that. Also, oh, which okay. door are we going to choose? Say we go south. Seems like more valuable things will be through this protected chamber. Oh, we did come in at apparently the deepest part of it. So, had four entrances that we saw outside, all were guarded. Yep. It's roughly square, wasn't it? Uh, roughly thereabouts. Yeah, because there was more down this direction, and through the uh, drainage room you came in, there was two hallways that you didn't go down. You know what I just noticed that's very weird? I have since changed my Roll20 profile picture from the one it's showing. Yeah, game. but it I still doesn't. It's... Yeah. Yeah, you're also it's still really... logged into like half the games we ever played. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably why it's lagging. All the profiles are active at once. Somehow. Yeah, every time you play, I just buy a new uh, a new computer, <laughs> and then once we're done, I you know I just keep mm. it on, and I want I want to see how long until the government has to get involved. <laughs> Wait, you mean you can turn computers off? <laughs> He's just soaking up all the bandwidth. Jeez, next you're gonna tell me I don't have to burn my clothes when I'm done with them <laughs> after I wear them once. Either way, which way are you? Wait, so I, th I think we're thinking south. All right. Ivy's up first. I feel good things about the southern door. Like there's a mushroom man slowly turning into soup. I'll just use the bonus action to... to um... This is back to like uh, two rounds at a time so we don't drive ourselves crazy. Okay. So 30, then... Well, actually 35. I forgot her movement speed's crazy. Mm-hmm. Oh, bowl. She doesn't provoke AOOs if she hits people, too. It's pretty fun. 35 here, and then I'm just going to preemptively roll stealth. It's flat roll because she's poison still. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. And the door uh, can be opened from the inside without needing to pick the lock. Gotcha. This was, but she can't this get quite to the door right now. was more of a uh, laboratory than a prison. So. Thrum. Oh, part laboratory, part electrical generator. I thought you said part Labrador for a second. I'm like, yes, <laughs> there's a dog. This entire building has one great big good boy. <laughs> the goodest of boys. I'll, I'll shrink Thrum. We're in his left ball. Well, he's going to stay big, and he's going to say, ride the wave, ride, ride the wave, and he's going to jump twice to over here. While he's traveling through the magical water, he just hears the words echoing from the distance. Cowabunga, dude. <laughs> Cowabunga, dude. Cowabunga, dude. <laughs> well, In my that. universe, Avalids are dog-based. Uh, he says Cowabunga, dude. Freya does machines. <laughs> Freya does do machines. That is true. That is, that so is who are, who are the other two Ninja Turtles? I think uh, Nogram's uh, Raphael well, with all the rage. Yeah. So that leaves Leonardo to either be um, Fergus or um, Tasco. And you are the heir apparent. You are the king yeah. to be. Oh, God, I'm the worst one. <laughs> 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 Fucking white bread. <laughs> Flip tables. <laughs> I'm going back to my barrel. Does that mean uh, Tasco is uh, Splinter? <laughs> or is he Casey Jones? Oh, Taskle's definitely a splinter. Which means okay, does, does Ninja Turtles? This is kind of this is really off topic. Does Ninja Turtles have a comic book right now? Oh yeah, that's several. I'm not sure if it has one go ongoing right now, but it has a lot. No, that's what I'm saying. Is there, no, like, I think I, I think what... there is one. Is there? Is there's there usually like there's like one? always like three Ninja Turtle stuff going at any given time, and none of them are connected. As well, like, the, the, there's a the the collection com out now, so that's the comic one of them. talk. You know one of the best fucking comics that come out of the new 52 like relaunch a few years back for DC was Swamp Thing. 
Well, that one too, but fucking Flintstones. It was basically t- an anti-capitalist uh, <laughs> manifesto about Flintstones basically fighting against the man, trying to make it in a world where they're being shut down by the rich people. <laughs> and it was great. Anyway, Taskal, it's your turn. Move down. Things. Mm-hmm. Oh, Nogram, you're still adjusting to the fact that you can see through your skin, you've got no armor, and you can also breathe underwater right now. Mm-hmm. That's a weird place to be, but uh, no time. Stuff to do, people to kill. Mm-hmm. Uh, still half movement speed, right? Uh, we're that... doing two rounds at a time each round to okay. mitigate it. Okay. It's one so, thing when we're in combat when it matters, but for exploration it's it, it yeah. would just drag shit down for no reason. That makes sense. All right. Well you know no girl, it's actually pretty there. hard to notice once you step yourself inside of a dark cramp suit. Don't <laughs> <laughs> right. move to get there. A lot of people ask me, how do I go to the bathroom in this thing? It's actually so quite anyway, easy. Let's get, let's get going to the door. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to delete your spiritual weapon here, uh, Kenneth? Because I'm pretty sure its uh, duration has elapsed. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right, uh, I usually just tell them it works exactly how they think it does, and then they stop asking me questions. <laughs> okay, moving down here. What's behind door number two? Here I go. It's you, Lucky. Oh, great. One of these days, I'll, well, I guess, won't need to. Yeah, here before too long. long. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, so 30 and then 30. Hey, but the character's getting some exercise. Yeah. Though, uh, probably you guys, as you rescue more people, we're probably just going to have all of them on the mat on like normal, because until you get out of here, you're probably not going to be getting too many long rests. So, mm-hmm. kind of spaces it out. I'm uh, going to run downstairs real quick and grab a snack. All right. Hey, B. Um... <laughs> uh... Going to slowly open the door. Oh, shit. Hi. <laughs> Close the door. <laughs> Too far away for prepared actions, but if you guys don't want to fight, that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably be here on a cliffhanger of fighting. I mean, I'm confident you guys will win, but... Mm-hmm. I don't know, that Duergar and Drow down there look spooky. Yeah, I can only see the Drow. <laughs> There's a Sludge try, Man, though. a Drow, a Duergar pirate. This is a, a Duergar pirate, one of those sea spawn with tentacles that you fought before, and a basic ass Drow soldier. <laughs> and a Chul motherfucker Chul. <laughs> so when does Captain Planet show up? Soon. Soon. <laughs> soon, motherfucker. Soon. soon. Than you think? You'd be an elf in this world, I think. Whose door is ajar? Are you sure he wouldn't be a genasi? <laughs> or he could just be a sea elf. Oh yeah, or then yeah. Michael, are you or any of the other twelve elves car? they have. I know there's so many elves. It's it's a thing. Like they were, like, someone posted a meme the other day. Like, oh, I'm gonna be edgy and quirky and have my typhoon be a unique color. And, and everyone was like, why not be an elf? And then they showed like this whole color palette of all the elf colors. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want to be a sexy demon person, obviously. <laughs> Anything's a demon if you try hard enough. Yeah, and then everyone. Gets By the really way, did up. you see that fucking beardless dwarf meme I put up there before the um? Yeah. I just like that there's a grudge book at the end there. Yeah, right. 